We're live. Are we live? We're live. Are we alive? Ooh. It's alive. Why, is, why do we pause with that question? <laughs> Sorry for the delay, you guys. This was originally scheduled for three. I don't know what is going on in Vegas today, but there is traffic like you would not believe. So uh, we just skated in the door and uh, we are at the Paradise Valley Antique Mall. And I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along shopping with me. Um, this is a place that I came to with George, the antique nomad. I come here on, on a fairly regular basis because this is this is probably the cleanest, most well laid out antique mall in Vegas. It is so easy to go find what you want to find and um, remember where something was. That's why I like my brain likes that. So uh, let's dig in and go find some treasure now. If you guys see something that like you really, really want me to pick up for you, we're not going to be doing any live selling in the chat, but I will pick things up and put them in my Shopify store. And then once I get those items home and processed, you can come back to this video replay and they will be linked down below. So if all goes well, everybody's saying hello. So let's go. Let's let I, you know, I always go the same place, the same way. Let's, let's just go here. Who loves some blendo? Look at that peach blendo. And if you want to know the price of something, if I don't pick it up and say it, and you want to know it, by all means, just let me know. Happy to let you know what prices are on things. Is this, is it Melmac or is it Brook Park Modern Design? Jordan Thanks. says, I need some serving bowls in my print. I'll be looking for that. I'll be looking for that. That would be the false wrap. Yorktown. See, I know this is. Oh, that was a terrifying movie. Oh, I'm averting my eyes. That was a terrifying movie. Movie posters. I did not like it. I was saying, oh, that was a good movie. That was a good movie. Who should, who would... Brigitte Bardot. But what's the movie? My a oh, very, a private, very affair. private affair. I was trying to figure out what the movie is. We have that poster in our boutique right now. Made in Paris. The Godfather Part Three. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Oh, that was a in. horrible movie. That was a horrible movie. Oh, he's a tramp, but I love him. Power Rangers, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. I don't even know that one. Mm. Now, do you think these are originals, or do you think these are copies? Some of these are original. I can are see. They? Um, the more recent ones, for sure. That's probably a two-sider. Now, that, I'm not quite sure about. That's a Disney Channel reprint. Oh, yeah, sure is. That's Looks. a 30-year anniversary. Mm -hmm. That's an original. Jewel of the Nile. The one oh, goes... don't the originals kind of have the creases? So, mm -hmm. the, the value is determined by whether you have a creased one or a rolled one. Um, so, that's why this one is only $16. A uh, rolled one would probably be about 40 or 50 oh, This is a great movie. This, I love this, this movie. This is one of my favorite Mel Gibson movies right there. And he is one of my all-time favorites. Ah. James Garner is just the best. Anybody picking a favorite movie out of this yet? Sweet. Okay. Oh, Chelsea is saying Urban Cowboy. Funny story. I, well, this is a long time ago. This was back when I was an Avon lady, uh, back in the early 90s. And one of our rewards for being at a high level was a trip to Vegas. I was Ooh. in Southern California. And we, we were on a bus. And they play a movie. <gasps> that is what they played mm -hmm. on the bus on the trip to Vegas. Perfect. Uh, I'm just like... That was well thought out. Like Titanic on your cruise ship. Bronco Billy. These are actually some very nice movie titles here. Oh, look at that. 007. License to Kill. Die Harder. Now, do you think the Bruce Willis movie stuff is going to kind of go up in value? It's interesting to think. Yeah. I mean, he's slipping. He's slipping away. Mm-hmm. Doesn't he have the same thing that Robin Williams had? Um. I believe he's got more of a um, kind of like the CTE from injuries sustained. Oh, okay. Injuries from making movies? Quite possibly. Wow. A lot of people are calling out Maverick, St. Elmo's Fire, and Urban Cowboy. Yeah. So, so there's some fun. favorites. And then look, they have the... Um, lobby cards. The lobby cards. Thank you, because I couldn't think of the name of them. So... I have this one signed by Angie Dickinson. Oh, how fun is that? Iconic Vegas film. Aw. 
Yeah, this is a, this is a neat. Uh, they get one free photo with every poster purchase. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. And then you know, and then you got some shoes and some clothing. You know, I always look for the things that are not the typical thing in a booth like this. When it's, you know, um, like a piece of pottery or glass, because obviously their expertise is in the movie posters and some other things. So you know, when you have a piece of say chintz. Right Royal Cotswolds. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. But sometimes, I mean, 35. It's a Godinger. Okay. 35. That's probably a good price. Uh, but sometimes the dealers that don't really know that stuff price underprice it. Debbie Hamilton says she used to babysit Drew Barrymore and changed her diapers. No way. Debbie also said she grew up in Hollywood and James Garner filled an ep filmed an episode of Rockford Files. We had lunch and he kissed me. Aww, Ooh, that's wow. so cool. Hey, there might be some hockey stuff over here. Uh-oh. Might be some well, hockey stuff. I see right there. Holy smokes, look at the size of those Funkos. Wow, I didn't even know they made them that big. Jumbo Funkos. Is that what they are? Mm-hmm. What the heck? There's some stuff right there. Oh, see? This There's is, my Golden Knight this stuff. Is, this is Will's thing. Come on, go ahead. I know you want your hands free to shop. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. So, <laughs> okay, so what's cool about this is I don't feel the need to get anything crazy because I have all four of those autographs oh, right do you? there. Oh, okay. Yep. Just nice. earlier this year, the day after or two days after the Stanley Cup, uh, that's Team Captain Mark Stone right there. I got a, I got a jersey signed by him. Nice. I was wearing it at the time. He literally like pushes my back and starts signing. This is uh, this is Eddie's booth who has worked here for a very long time. He has worked here even when I had my space at this mall. Look at all the Funko Pops. I mean, that is a lot. And Hot Wheels. This is a this is a great this is booth number twenty five if you're into that kind of a thing. I have a Funko Pop Mish Money Penny. <laughs> John. Yes. Mm -hmm. How's thirty dollars? Perfect. It's in there. Right. Okay. Let's see what else they got here. Oh, I am what I am. What I am. I love that. I love Popeye. Beauty and the Beast. I like those big cutouts. I don't know what I would do with them, but I like them. Here, want to take your camera? This is back? definitely one of my style booths. Look at all the Star Trek right? stuff. I knew you'd like this booth. Mm-hmm. That's an old phaser water pistol. Well, there's some really old Barbies in here. Oh, they're so hot right now. Look at that. $300 on her. Oh my gosh, an MC Hammer doll. You can't what? touch it. <laughs> oh, the creature from the black. But, um, so yes, it's a creature from the black. What was, oh gosh, what was that really cheesy 70s? Oh my gosh. Swamp Thing? No, it was a series and it was like, there was kids in it and there was like these kind of creatures in it. Gosh, I can't remember. Anybody know? Anybody know hmm. what that TV series was? The Blob? Lindsay? No, no, no. If my mom's in the chat, she would remember. I'm sure she would remember. Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost. That's it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Ooh, memories. Ooh, look at the lounge flies. Love the lounge. Oh, it's flower. We love flower and Pinocchio. I'm sure those have a those have a good price on them. Most people know that those lounge flies are worth quite a bit of money. All right, let's find some antiques, shall we? We shall. Stay away from the speakers. Is that Liberace's piano? If it, can you guys hear the music? Because if it's we, they could turn it down a little bit more for us if it's coming through. Gary, could you have them to turn yeah, it maybe down just a have them bit turn it because, like, when we're right under the speakers, it's pretty loud. Yeah, they're they're taking we're really good care of us today. They're great. Do they have any chalka in it? Barbara's saying any chalka. Maybe we're behind on an item. Chalka. People are saying no and no barely to the music. So good. They That's don't good. hear too much. This is interesting. It's like a butterscotch, and I'm wondering if it's Bakelite. They just call it beaded. But look at the color of that. It's like very butterscotch. Mm -hmm. I know Dawn's not here right now. Dawn of Hudson Vintage. 
because she is doing a live sale. She does her live sales on her channel on Wednesday and Fridays. I like I like how these are corded. Hmm. I wonder what she would say to those. Oh, they were talking about Land of the Lost. Oh, 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 oh. See, I don't remember names. I was I was young. I was young in the 70s. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Ooh. That's acrylic. Geometric way. Gary's gone to uh, get them to turn the music down. Otherwise, he'd be here with his black light. Mm. He's here. He's back. He's, He's back. back. Black My black light will travel. We need. Oh, yeah. Looks like lucite to me. It's lucite. That's a pretty piece, actually. For $12. Hmm. I kind of like that piece, actually. It's calling me. This is one of those calling me pieces. How much is it? It's 12 bucks. Hmm. It's got a little, just a little bit of a ding right there, though. That always kind of concerns me. All right, I'll think about that one. I'll think about it. Think about it. Let's see what else we got. Little storybook dolls. There was a time I used to sell a lot of these. Oh, my. Oh, my. She's a little distressed when she's awake maybe because her sequins are falling apart i don't know maybe i have seen things <laughs> danny barb russell was born the same year as you yay it was a great year huh yeah you have a reunion right <laughs> right regent square on that oh look at him dobby from harry potter master has given me a pin <laughs> I love how you know all the movie lines. She's got a nice, I would say she's got a nice paint job, you know, because that's what you look at with these little figurines. You look at the paint job. Take really the tires. Look, and Yeah, you look at the quality of, of the painting. She's done quite nicely. She's a nice lady. Mm, what in the world? What is that? Why is it a shark kind of going neener, neener? Blue. It's funny, you know, the things you see in an antique mall now, they, they've gotten to where you pretty much can put anything in. Little White Quail says, we missed you yesterday, Danny. Ah, yeah, well, uh, I had to spend some time doing some security beefing up at my house uh, because it appears that I have a stalker who uh, knows my address. And uh, I had to go take care of some some law enforcement and legal things uh, just to protect my family. So that's why, yep, video didn't happen. It's crazy what happens in this business. I'm trying to figure out how you change these. Is there, does he do something? He's got to. It spins. But how? Looks like it's missing a crank there. Uh, no. No? Is it? Well, maybe. Oh, maybe. I don't know. It's cute. A little rose pin. All right. Got anything over in the corner over there? Anybody want to see anything closer? If you do, call it out yeah. and I'll try and keep I an will, eye on it. I will be your hands. You can look at whatever you want to look at. This is just a fun time. I know I have a lot of people who really love this whole pottery. Um, I have a couple pieces up on my stage. I probably need to put in a sale, but very classic with the pastels, the pink and the blue. Very easy to spot. Oh, look, look, it's a Derringer. Oh, geez. We need that for the next purse sale. Oh, gosh. Dawn said that that necklace is Bakelite. Is it? Oh, you're there. Is your sale done? Donna Donna Marie Reynolds says that Dawn said that. I did not see it oh, in the chat. Oh, okay. I am looking. I'm trying to catch up here. Should I grab it? It was 10 bucks. Should I go grab it for 10 bucks? NASCAR. Oh, Chelsea. Chelsea, I know you're in the chat. Noah loved his mug. He loved his mug. California raisins. 
I know that uh, Jeremy Hales collects these now. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Pickle Tink says, name. would you please ask Danny if she finds a nice silver tone mirror brush and comb set at a decent price? Pick it up. You got it. We'll look for it. And also look for Jared Brown is asking you to look for Arcopal French Pyrex. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is either. French I, Pyrex. I, I keep looking. Stay with me. There's Pyrex right there. So I'm not sure what French is. It. You know what? I'm going to get this for Jeremy. Aww. He actually collects these California raisins, and I have not seen the book on his shelf. Doesn't mean it's not there. Yeah, we got a, we got a whole bunch of Pyrex over here. Oh, this is what happens when you put Pyrex in the dishwasher. Mm. Very sad. Very sad. I'm not a fan of the brown. I don't know. You guys... How do you feel about the brown Pyrex? Not a fan. Gwenya says he collects just about everything now. He kind of does. Ghostbusters. Linda says Dawn Champions. said get the necklace. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go grab it. It's right back over there. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Pikachu. We were having a Pokemon discussion last night. Um, Allie Roots uh, was Ryan and Allie Roots were both there, but I was talking with Allie because she's got Pokemon's tattooed on her arm, and we were we were reminiscing about Pokemon Go and you know the days when I would go out with the kids. Like we would literally go in the car until like, oh wait, over here, there's a tower, there's a, like, and when then we pull over and like, yeah, it was crazy times. My favorite one was when that app launched all the casinos on their billboards had signs up that said rare Pokemon inside. Right. Well, we tried to do that when I had my first business, we tried to become a, a Pokestop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were going through the process. Those horse trophies are pretty cool. I like those. What year is that from? Champion Gelding, Riverside, California. 1970. I gotta say, like. They don't give them out like this anymore. These, these were AQHA show too. Like somebody, I, I will tell you, somebody spent hundreds of dollars to enter that show, get ready for that show, train for that show. So uh, that trophy came with a big cost. So I don't know what the value is after the fact, like buying it now and resale market, but I know they mean a lot to the people that that get them. Oh, there's Dawn. Dawn's in now. Maybe her show hasn't started yet. Maybe she's just in here pre-sale. Look at these. Look at these vintage napkin rings. The point says those are kind of cool. No, you don't need those, Dana. Melissa says, what else do you have in your hands right now for the spreadsheet? Oh, don't worry about that. I'm buying that as a gift. I just have the Bakelite. Just have the bake light for uh, ten dollars. I'm gonna H T H. <laughs> Look at these little guys, little marble eggs. Oh, he's still got his little label on it. I love when stuff has their labels still. I can't tell what it says on that one though. Elizabeth King says her husband works at a store that is also a pokey stop, and he still plays the game on his breaks. Nice. I played it a little bit when we were in France. Oh, I like this Paris one. is full of stops. This is a really cool one, too. Oh, look at this bougie blue one. This is from Kay's collection. That one's 12. All right. I learned when I was here with George, look in the cases, look at the little stuff, because... Uh, great things come in small packages. So you got to really peel your eye in there. I know it's a little hard on the camera to kind of like see. But that's a beautiful set. Oh my. I don't know how much that one is. But just that bracelet is 24 though. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Got some games. Under the sea. Under the sea. 
Life is much better when you are wetter. Take it from me. These are fun. Um, these are 21. They are hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And I always say, I remember growing up, we had one that had a fourth monkey that was sitting there pouting saying, have no fun. Hmm. Sherry says, what happened with the cat sale with Thrifting Vegas? We had it the other day. Yeah, it went really well. We had a lot of fun. Ah, this is funny. So this would not be a slinky. This would be a spring toy because slinky is a trademark name. So this is a knockoff. Jared oh. wants to see some American brilliant ringing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be on the hunt. Um, so if anybody watched my uh, recap haul from the bins, I got a Rubik's cube, and Rachel came over to my desk was it yesterday. I think it was yesterday morning. And she she starts playing with it. I'm like, do you want that? She goes, yeah, and she walks off with it. So I was like. The Rubik's Cube found a home. Oh, William Shakespeare. Oh, gosh. That's a hard read right there. Wow. I can't even imagine reading that. What year is this? 1944, 1972, renewed. Boom. I have a really bad Shakespeare joke. Uh oh. Is it family friendly? Yeah, so it's totally okay. family friendly, okay. but. Um, well, you I'm trying never to, I'm, stopped from telling a bad joke before. Will. I'm trying Come to on. remember the exact line, though, but it's like King Richard III went to Home Depot because now is the winter of our discount tent. You can almost hear that eye roll, right? Yeah, you're right. That was a really bad chance. It's really bad. Do not eat. Do not eat the silica gel. The fact that they have to write that on there just blows my mind. Absolutely mind-boggling. The days we live in. These are not cool to the touch, which is interesting. They seem to be stone, but... But um, bum. These are pretty. It almost looks like they're a real shell with a really heavy lacquer on them. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Nothing. Nothing really. Grabbing. Oh wow. Barb says stick to owls. Oh, ouch. Got some vinyl. No, Will likes to look at the vinyl. Oh, yeah. Monday, we're going to have a lot of vinyl. Chipmunk Rock. Had that one. Which songs are on that? Betty Davis Eyes, Heartbreaker, Hit Me With Your Best Shot. All, all these songs, Queen of Hearts, Losing You, all done. Jesse's girl. Chipmunks. Oh my gosh. Yes, he is a friend. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, this is a blue dish. Seems to me that's probably the base of something. Mm. Like that would have had something else. Oh, you guys, I got my new light fixture put up. The new light fixture. It's up. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. I, I haven't done anything to it yet. I decided to keep it white. And now I got to figure out what I'm going to enhance it with. But I'm also going to try to go back and see if they have any more. I doubt it. But on the off chance they do, I'm going to grab another one. And it, then I'm going to have like two of them kind of matching right there in my entryway. He's pretty spectacular. Hmm. Wow. I'm betting that's soft. It's a uh, llama. <gasps> it's llama. Alpaca. They're saying alpaca. Made in Peru. Oh, it is all. It says alpaca for uh, $350. Question is, what brand is the lighting that you put up? It was, oh gosh, Hale, Haley lighting. Hmm. It, was in, it was in the recap of, uh, of that video. 
it was about a hundred a hundred and twenty five dollar lamp um, that i paid 7.99 for so. look at how young steve martin is on that vinyl up there he oh. turned 78 the other day that's when he was a wild and crazy guy 78. Wow. We just turned 78. Okay, that's interesting. So oh, Barb, like of course. Coral. No, we're having fun. I don't like when I can't see the chat. I tried to get it pulled up on my phone and I couldn't. I it wouldn't it wouldn't pull up. Thank you so much. Let's see what that says. That says Oof. Jerry says, keep an eye out for any Lalique. Chelsea found two Fleetwood Mac Rumors albums. That's fantastic. Okay. The Equalizer is asking, is there any bidding today? No, but if there's something that you really want, I will get it and put it in my Shopify store, which will be linked. I have to go home. I have to get everything uploaded, but it should be there by tonight. So I am willing to do that. I am willing to pick things up. Uh, what does that say? Brink Brinkley or Brink? I see Wayne. Or Brickley? Wayne Brink Wayne Brickley? Brickley. Wayne Brickley. Okay, I need my sleuths. This is the nice thing about being live is you guys can do a little uh, check-in for me. Do you know what it looks like on the screen? It looks almost look like Brisky. Oh. Maybe try Brisky somebody too. Yeah, this is definitely a hand-thrown piece. I can tell by the interior. This is hand. I thought it was horse hair at first, but I don't think it is. I think it's made to look like horsehair pottery, but I'm not sure it is. It's interesting. It's interesting. Okay, I like this a lot. Airport, the board game from back when airports weren't a nightmare. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, there's airports on here. The Dallas, Los Angeles, Vancouver, Chicago. They're not calling them by their name. They're just giving locations. If we play this, I get to be George Kennedy. I bought something today. That's pretty fun. I have to find, I know Chelsea could play it with me. I have to find my classic country music people. I found a trivia game. Ooh. It's, it's so great. It's so great. You're going to have to watch tomorrow's video. So yeah. Equalizer, Danny was saying she'll put it in Shopify and put it on this It'll video. It'll have a set price. Yes. She was asking if you're going to put it on eBay. Nope. I am using Shopify now. Those are Nachman uh, crystal, but there are flea bites on the edge. And they call them flea bites because literally those little teeny tiny chips, the, the, like that roughness that you feel, it's like a little flea bite. Like that's how they got their name. It's tiny. Chip sounds big. It's a flea bite. Chip. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I got, we got some, oh, looks like maybe some vintage Halloween over here. Oh. We all live in a yellow submarine. Bum. A yellow submarine. Bum. A yellow submarine. Bum. Oven basics. Anchor hawking. Ooh, look at her. Early 20th century. $75. Okay, so Vicky says, please watch for frog planters or statues or dragonware. Okay. There's some cool stuff in here. Some oldies, but they know what they've got. They know what they've got. That is... Interesting piece. They're calling it Roseville. I'm trying to verify that. I'm not so sure. Not so sure. Quality is questionable. This is a Weller. It's not marked Weller. Kind of that arts and crafts period look. And this is leaves and berries unmarked. Judy yeah. K says, not Roseville, in my opinion. No, I don't think so. 
This one's 125. They're calling this one McCoy. And Barb says, look for small charms or beads to put on chains. Small charms or beads. I bet we can find that. Ah, oh, Van Briegel. This one is $325. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Chelsea's saying, love those blue canisters. I know. Those are great. They're enamelware. $375 for the set. Yeah. Metal. Those are great. Oh, Chelsea, I found my turtle canisters and my cookie jars, and they're A-OK. -okay. Yay. Chelsea helped me pack all that. So I'm sure she has been holding her breath for me to get all of that unpacked as well. Oh, this is another cool. I love this old pottery. I love it. It's 125. This is also a McCoy berries. And this one. See, look at the bottom. The, you know, sometimes you can just look for that signature, the way things something made. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word I wanted to say there, but look at the, the structure of a piece. Look at the quality, the thickness, the, the weight. They're calling this one also McCoy, $95. Look at, look at this little, little done at firing, these little pock marks, you know, where the glaze popped. So it's literally a defect. This would consider it a second. I would say. So, Judy, you're absolutely not alone because you're here with us. Oh, why does she feel alone? She's saying that she remembered a cocktail and she's drinking alone, but she's not alone. Aww. She's with us. Pour one for us, too. Yeah, right. Yes. Please do. This is usually a fun booth. Oh, well, look at that biplane. Yeah, that is good. so cool. And it's made of, like... Um, Oh, uh, fuses, right? Pieces, yeah. spark, plugs, spark plugs. Thank you. Gears. Yeah, that's a handmade piece. See, I always, I always gear towards these pre nineteen fifties airplanes because my gear towards them. I gear towards them. My grandmother helped design these in the nineteen forties. Ah, she worked for Grumman Air Corps. That's, no way. That's why I, I named my production company Hellcat Productions. Okay, that's right. I remember you telling me that. She worked story. on the Hellcat. Somebody wants to know, uh, Kathleen wants to know how much the Beatles were. How much were the Beatles? $65. Each? Was it? Each or for the set? I think it's a six, what is it $65 for Ringo, 65 oh, for John, and 65 for Paul. I had to double check what finger that was for a minute. <laughs> Blue Mini. Those are McFarlane. Those are very high quality. How much for the white McCoy? Do we have a white McCoy back here? The one on the corner, I think it was 95 I'm digging this. Oh, is this open? <gasps> Entry. The white McCoy was one twenty-five. One twenty-five for the white McCoy. Look at this piece. That's oh. only thirty dollars. I know, right? I bet. I bet Dawn's not here anymore. I feel like this one might be coming with us. Look at that. I don't see any missing stones either. It's got a lobster claw top. I don't know. What do you guys think? So what does it say about it? Oh, whoops. Just says, kidding. I'm a pretty mm -hmm. good catch. Costume jewelry, multi-stone, clear cut, diamond, stainless steel, chain link, necklace, vintage. What's mm -hmm. the weight on it? It's got some good weight to and it. And Brenda on Facebook is saying, buy it, Danny. Really? Okay. Except, let's see. Melissa says, who can so, Dinah? That's a piece. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to put it back. Judy thinks that's cool about Grandma. Oh, thank you, Judy. This needs to be tightened up, but that's, yeah, I think for, I think, so Brenda, what do you think? Like, do hi, you, Gina. What do you think that is, uh, potential? Waiting on the chat to catch up. It's pretty spectacular. Debbie Hamilton says, I love that necklace. Would love it. Yes, yes. Get that. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to get that one. Hand oh, and there. Dawn's show started five minutes ago, says yes. Betty Fremont. So she's, yes. I'm having flashbacks with that pencil sharpener. Right. Red Mill. Red Mill Manufacturing. They use pecan shells hmm. mixed with a resin. Pecan to, shells? Pecan. Pecan. You Anything you can say, I can you say. You say pe pecan, I say pecan. But we all know about this guy. Aww. Well, again, Melissa wants to see I'm, the closure. Hold, hold, hold on a he's, second. Hold he's on a holding, second. He's holding I'm, back. He won't, I'm prepping, he won't do I'm it. I'm prepping. I'm, I'm inhaling. 
He's a hoot. There we go. Oh, excuse me. The closure on that piece. Right here. Yes. Hold it. Yeah, it, that, it, it does want to come apart a little bit, so we're going to have to tighten that up. I just put it back together, but the lengths of this are very interesting to me, and I'm sure that has a name, and it has a... The necklace is $30. Yeah. Now, it will be a little bit more, because I, I have to offset the cost that I have for selling it online, but it won't it won't be much more. How much was the owl? 18. 18. That's pretty much on the yeah. money there. And it's ironwood. Now, this is a smaller piece of ironwood, mm -hmm. which they're still making pieces out of the smaller pieces. It's the big, large pieces of ironwood that you want to be on the lookout for because they can no longer harvest it. Right. They can only use pieces that have fallen to the ground. That's about the same I think I got for the uh, for the ironwood I had on um, oh my gosh. our last sale. How great is he? Who makes you? Just says clay beaver fishing. Oh my gosh. Oh, he is, he is signed. Oh no. Somebody gave, oh, somebody made this. 1987 Christmas from GL. I bet you they made it for them and then it's done pretty well if that's true. That's a crazy little piece. Oh, look at the seal with the ball. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's a Oh, yeah. He's a trinket oh, box. Oh, and it's and it's hinged. I was going to say you look like blue it's sky. Blue sky. It is blue sky 2005. He's 30. Or 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 but Debbie Hamilton said that that is a box link chain. Mm. Box link. I'm and hoping Linda said it too. I hope Melinda. <laughs> Please make a note of that for me because I'll forget. Sheena, we'll Melissa. keep an we'll keep an eye out for that. A green hippo cookie jar. We'll keep an eye out. You never know in a place like this. Yeah, I have no idea. I haven't been here in a very long time, so who knows what we are going to run into. I like these. They're Le Creuset. Salt and peppers. Ten dollars. I don't know. What are Le Creuset salt and peppers going for on the bay? <laughs> Laura M. Noah played with a pencil sharpener at the flea market and Danny said, cool, huh? He said, what is it? And I almost <laughs> cried. That's true. He had no idea. But you know what? It's really funny because when they were little and I was homeschooling, they used, I had one of those for them. They used one. Now, actually, they might not have been the crank one. It might have been the stick the pencil in the battery operated one. There is that. I think one of the most frustrating and hilarious videos possible is trying to watch people who are like 14 now use a Walkman. <laughs> Try to figure out how to put the tape in and press play and all that. Look at this beautiful Polish pottery. So you've got your Polish marks in the back, but it's pretty signature. Like I knew walking over here, this was Polish pottery. It's got a very, very distinct look to it. 25 on that piece, 20 on that piece, 24 and 28. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't have a good feel guys. No. Does not look, so this is not Murano for sure. I don't know who makes this one, but it's got a newer, like a waxy feel to it. S&P LC, 30 to $35, says Lanny K. Really? Really? All right. I just elbowed a basketball purse. <laughs> We're going to get those for 10 then. That's a good deal. Pick those up for 10. All good says 29 if it's a turquoise set. Red's pretty popular, too. I know red's pretty popular. Washington, D.C., salt and pepper. Yeah, I have some cute salt and peppers here. Hmm. Mugs. Oh, these are pretty. Let make sure. Japan. Now, a lot of times on the, on the China sets... The salt and peppers did not get the full name of the company and all of that, but they do go with a set. I don't know if that holds true for these, but I suspect it does. Because that's a pretty distinct pattern. Those are 15. If anybody knows that pattern, let me know. Hold on. Oops, here we go. Gotta make a martini. One or two. Okay. 
Shaken, not stirred. Yes, I see the turtle. Yes, I do. I don't need him. I'm trying to be good until I get all of my stuff put away. I'm trying to be good. How much was the white dragon? White, white white dragon? Oh, back there? The unicorn dragon? I don't see a dragon. This? Oh, are we talking about this? Or is it a Pegasus unicorn? It's a backpack. Did I miss a dragon somewhere? Yeah, I don't see. It's back because lag and all. Was there another dragon somewhere? I don't see a dragon. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> I was just waiting. Oh my gosh. It is like cast iron. It is heavy. But this is all like original, I'm pretty sure. Okay, behind the unicorn and bold is a dragon. Oh, it's on the other side. We're not there yet. Oh, we'll come, we'll come around. <laughs> oh, I see it. Again. We'll wait, wait, we'll show it. Look at him. He's $300. I bet he is worth every penny of that. I'm going to have some fun and just look it up. Look at the shade. Because what if he's worth $600? Right. Huh? I'm trying to set my sights a little higher That's now. It's probably about 40 pounds. Yeah. Mickey Lane. Let's see what we come up with. Nothing. Let's Google search him. Very arts and crafts, the shade. He's holding a shovel, it looks like. He is. Can't tell what he's doing, but... Um... Well, let me see if I can do the whole lamp. Because it's not finding it with my close-up. Well, it's even got the uh, Mickey Fenuel on top. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not. I'm finding lamps with that shade, but I'm not finding a Disney one. So the cool thing that you can do with Google images on your phone is after you've searched by the image, you can add to your search. And so I'm going to say, I'm going to say Disney. And, oh, there's a Tinkerbell. Oh, there's a different Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I don't know. It's like I'm seeing the Tinkerbell one here. Oh, that's got the stained glass. So it's one of those things, it's, um, it's hard to say if that's worth 500. Or if it's if the three hundred is spot on, I mean I I don't think it's worth less than that, um, but this one could actually be worth even more. Oh, he's at the beach. He's he's digging. It's a sandcastle. He's a sandcastle. That's what it is. It's a bronze. It's a bronze. Let me look up the correct thing. Is there a name on the bottom? Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna let Gary. Uh, mm -hmm. Be careful. You lift it up. I'll look. Uh, nope, it's felted. Wow, okay. It's felted. Felted, so you can set it back down. And I'm going to check the back. Is there anything on the back, maybe? Oh, there's, it just says Disney on the back. Yeah, it just says Disney. Copyright Disney. Mm -hmm. What does it say, though? Just says copyright yeah. Disney. It's authorized. You need a name? No? Oh, no. Oh, I know. I know. I'm just oh, curious, I was curious about Oh, I thought maybe you knew ask. something that we didn't. Lorraine is asking, has Gary found any glow glass yet? A lot of yeah. Oh, oh, these antique malls are oh. so great for finding glow glass. No exact matches. This is one of those real mystery, real mystery kind of pieces. Like that might be a really good investment. Uh, Lonnie K says, we'll tell Danny the salt and pepper are not as good as I first said. A lot for sale at selling at a lower price. How much are they selling for? How much are they selling for, Lonnie? And I Lor feel like I could get 20 bucks. And Lorraine is saying, Danny, those were sold at the park in Anaheim. I'm really tempted on this one. It is not a piece that you find every day. So let's keep that in our memory banks there. 
how how is our reception? Because we're at the back of the store. Are we okay? Are we? We're doing great. We're coming Everyone, through. call it out. Yay! We're doing great. Little stuff. Little stuff. Hey, that's a fun way to display jewelry. I thought that. Isn't that? Cool? You that's take so a little clever. frame and. Lonnie is saying twelve to fifteen dollars. Oh, twelve to fifteen on those. Lynn says great reception. Laura on Facebook is saying buy the Mickey light. Buy it. Yeah. Mm. And, yeah, have, just and Lorraine is saying her sister sold them at a shop she worked at in Anaheim. How much were they originally? Do you know how much they were originally, Lorraine? I bet they were like six or seven hundred dollars. For bronze? I really, Solid? I don't want to ship it though. That's. I don't want to ship it. That's my big You have 902 people watching. Plus Dang, another 30 on awesome, Facebook. Everybody. Look at that beautiful cranberry opalescent i'm pretty sure that's a piece of fenton can't open it locked. it's locked the reason you can tell is because of that ruffle that is a classic fenton ruffle on top they're asking 55 on that piece okay so oh yeah we got that 12 to 5, 12 to 25 so far on the salt and peppers yeah i think i'm okay i, I think i'm okay look at this 45 on a little vintage lipstick holder. William, is that a real purse? Or Where? Is that ceramic up on top. Is that a chicken purse? Oh my uh, goodness. Yes, it is. It's a rubber chicken purse. It's a rubber oh, chicken. I can't even. I can't even. You know why she wanted to hold that? Why? Because. <laughs> I set you up. You did. That is so funny. Well, I noticed, I noticed he's able to do that really easy, so. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. What did they say? They he's call kind us of spectacular. Birds and owls. Yeah, yeah. They said they said last night they're just waiting for one of us to say goodnight, Gracie. So I responded to the comment, goodnight, Gracie. It's Chio. Chio it's is the brand. So funny. Of the Very funny. chicken purse. Maggie says, love the chicken purse. Yeah. It's $38. $38. Oh, watching all the way from Australia. Thank Whoa. you so much for being Welcome. here. Welcome. This is a little tight for me. Back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, we were just talking about Rubik's Cube. This is the same one, same one that I found. 15, what they have on it. It's a nostalgic purchase for somebody. That's the thing about this stuff. Nobody needs any of this. We don't need this stuff. We're coming to the White Dragon. We're we, not going to forget it. We get emotionally pulled into this stuff. That's what this stuff is all about. The more emotion, the better. Ugly face, glazed ceramic pottery stoneware cup, four inches. That's awfully mean. Maybe the cup thinks we're the ugly ones. Look at his nose. Come on. May and Mayhan Mayhan May I don't know how you say it Mayhan M A H O N. Uh, if you find the signed ones by him, they're worth quite a bit of money. All right. Now, All right. Dragon time. Dragon. There he is. He's a white ceramic dragon. Looks like he is missing quite a bit of paint, uh, and he is forty dollars. Quite the shipping nightmare. But look at this one. Laderma, Ladima, Lodima, Art Pottery Dragon Cup from 1999. Look at mm, him. That's that's epic. Yeah, there's the mark. They've got 20 on him. Pretty fun. Oh, okay. oh and then there's stuff uh -oh. all on the side. Oh, look at there. these vintage Star Wars. Oh, wow. That's cool. Very cool. So uh, when Carrie Fisher passed away, mm -hmm. I actually was the manager at the auction house that was responsible for selling her estate. Hmm. It was some lovely things. Yeah, why is he $195? 1960s Paul Nyehouse. Oh, Nyehouse, okay. Oh, those are gorgeous. Look at those horses. $1,200, though. Ooh. 
but those are gorgeous. So this is interesting. There is some cameo glass in here signed uh, Gaillet. Now, there is so much of this out there that's reproduction. I would be really scared uh, about buying a piece other than from like somebody who really, really specialized in this because even some of the reproductions are very easily um, the fool you. There's some beautiful Yadros in there. See the Bulacante down there? The yellow one. Oh, there's some really nice. Maybe we'll open this up and look at the uh, Murano glass a little closer. Because I see some good examples in here. Timeless Finds asks, is it signed? Which one? I think uh, the um, Gaillet you were talking about. Well, yes, it is. But it's very, very easily copied. Hmm. So there's some different things you can look at. I'm not an expert on it. Um, but I know there's some, it's one of those quality issues and you got to really study and make sure it is what you think you're buying and, and genuine cameo glass is worth a fortune. So if we see our person with the keys, we'll have her, we can get her. open this case. Gary. So we'll, we'll hang out right here until she comes. There's usually bells. I need to get, oh, would, yeah. you, would you go get You're her? I'm looking at SC15. Oh, SC15. Look I at all these that. vintage Vegas pieces over here. Like, so this is my friend Rita's space. She does an amazing job of making it look like an old storefront. Mm -hmm. Didn't we see the Blendo bowl that matched those yes. cups right there? There you go. And that's the thing, you can go through an antique mall and put pieces together. Yeah, she really, really does an incredible job. Look at all of the little spice containers and salt and peppers and little stuff. Do you think oh. do you think she has Prince Albert in a can? <laughs> I still have not. I'm trying to ignore him, Marlene. I'm trying. Don't take the bait. I still haven't broken into my armoire. None of the keys I have are working, which makes me think that the mechanism has an issue so that uh, I might have to get somebody like just to kind of take it apart to get into it. Oh, uh, thank oh. you. Thank you, Laura. It's very sparse right now. I'm going to have a lot more in there soon. There's a little hard rock. I know you sell your hard rock pins all the time on whatnot. Oh, and my goodness. Yeah. First anniversary. That means that's got to be from the 80s. Uh, yeah. Wow. Because that one's not even there anymore. They moved to Universal Studios. Right. I'm pretty sure that's the one that Steve Martin and Sarah Jessica Parker go to in the L.A. story. Oh, okay. Oh, there's some blowy glass. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here Creamer it and sugar for for $36. Uh, oh, yeah. Here she comes. And oh, that piece is so, so pretty. Oh. oh, look at that. Okay, Daddy, she has the key here. Oh, and there's some uranium glass down there. Right. I love this so much. Look at the little porcelain handle. Actually, she's tin. She's a little tin handle they put on there. Oh, can you imagine? Like this, just you like you put yourself back in the day. This was the desk of old. You like open it, like and you wrote letters. You didn't have a computer. You wrote letters, and and you had your little oh, this is beautiful. Dear President Roosevelt. Beautiful. Sometimes you can find clues to the maker and stuff in the drawers. Probably the also bottom. has hidden this compartments looks, you have to really search for. Yeah. And this looks like it's been restored. This mm. is newer wood, mm -hmm. which is not uh, un unlikely with a piece this old. So she's right here. All right. Look, look, at, open. look at look at the dovetailing. Oh, gorgeous piece. Gorgeous piece. Okay. Let's go look at the model. Oh, Brenda's saying Eleanor wrote a letter today. There she is. Sorry about that. No, we just oh, all look at some glass. Good. All right. Let's get down here and look at some glass. So everybody knows about the Murano clown line. Um, the canters were really popular in the clowns. And they still hold their value. Like those clowns, they're they're worth I, I don't know what a I don't know what an ashtray sells for, but 
look at the very, very classic Murano pontal. This is where it would have been cut off from the cane of glass that they were using and then they polish it. And that's, it's so clear. That's how you know it's a Murano piece. Now this was applied to this piece after got a little bit different thing going here because of the black color of the glass, but he's a pretty cool piece. I got you, Patricia. We'll take a look after we look at the glass. This piece here. Oh, this one's 45. Now I'm going to tell you something. I'm skeptical of this piece. It does have the right bottom and it's got the scratches. Okay. So that makes me feel better. It's, it's missing a little bit of the weight you would expect for a piece this size. But I do believe this is Murano after looking at that base. That's a good price. 45 is a good price on that. Uh, it's not really my cup of tea. I'm not a big fan of the multicolor. I don't think that's as old of a piece as some of the others. Now, this piece, they call this Tutti Frutti. I mean, you can tell why. This is a pretty nice piece. Normally you see these with black base. This one is a blue base. Now, I don't know if that's coming through. All those little scratches, do you see all that kind of coming through I, there? I can see it, yeah. Yeah. So that is an indication of the age because that happens when it's sitting on a shelf and there's dust and they're like little micro scratches that just happen over time. Every time it kind of is like scooted aside, dust the shelf, whatever, just little, little, you can't redo that. That has to happen from age. And it's one of the things I look for when trying to determine if a piece is an older piece or a newer piece. I actually really like this piece for 60. I'm, I'm a little smitten with it. It has all the right elements. It's cased with the cobalt blue. It's got a venturine in here, which is, it looks like a copper aventurine. It's got the little ribbons in here. It's got latticino, which is this technique where it's kind of a mesh. This is a really nice piece. You know what? I think, I think I'm going to get this for 60. I'm going to, I'm going to get this one. We're going to hand that one off. We'll look at some of these little pieces. So this is known as a bimorphic design and that's simply bimorphic. So it's the bi, it's got two different folds. Um, and again, this has a lot of technique to it. You've got your aventurine. This is a silver and they use real silver, real gold, real copper in these pieces. Uh, oh, there we go. You can see it much better on the bottom there. This is a beautiful piece, actually, 35. I really like this piece too. It's kind of like a persimmon color. Mm, let me think about that one. I like that one. And then this one is very similar, 40, silver, aventurine. Now, it's hard to see when you when it's got the aventurine, but that base, that base is a nice clear base and I bet it's got the little scratches it's just really hard to see because of the how that stands out. Now, here's a piece. I love to talk about these pieces. This white casing is one of the most copied. This piece is genuine. And I'll tell you how I can tell in just a moment. But if you find a piece that is the white cased, be very skeptical. Really give it an extra, extra look. You want to look for different techniques used. So what we see in this piece, you've got a black edge in there. That's no easy task to get that done. You've got the uh, bulacante, the controlled bubble, and you can see the bubble goes from larger down to like little teeny tiny, very, very controlled. You've also got a venturine in here. You've got multiple, multiple techniques in this bowl that couldn't have happened by just a mass manufacturer. It's got the scratches on the bottom. The pontal is smooth and clear. Let's see how much this one is. This one is also 60. I think I'm gonna pick that one up too. It's pretty spectacular. There we go. And then here's another, oh my goodness, that's got some weight. There's some very classic Bulacante. Now this is not Murano. And I'll tell you how I know. Mm. Look at the pontal. That is not a Murano pontal doesn't mean it's bad glass. It's, it's mid-century glass. It's night. Look at the scratches are on the surface that touches the shelf, but it's not Murano. It is a Bulacante. Uh, it's a lot of the Murano designers went off and worked for other glass manufacturers about the same time. And so they would take some of these techniques and some of these things they learned and take them to other manufacturers. 
doesn't mean it's bad glass, doesn't mean it's not as valuable, it just means it's not Murano. Murano is a very specific glass that comes from the island of Murano, Italy. Oh, this piece is nice. Look at that fluorescent yellow. Again, you have Bulacante, you've got Aventurine in there. Oh, this is actually, I really like this piece. I know, I know you got to do it. No, it's, it's, Murano. Not, it's not a glower. Uh, you've got your scratches, lots of scratches on the bottom of this one, which also can fool. Some may look at this and go, oh, that's a cloudy base. That's not what we mean by cloudy base. I'm sure we'll find an example in here to show you a true cloudy base versus this is a clear base that over the time has gotten scratches. So for 30, I'm picking that one up too. So, okay, that's three pieces we're going to pull out of there. I got one more I want to look at. And then there was a request from this case. Okay, look at this one. Again, look at all the different techniques. The Bulacante, the Aventurine, the casing of the color. You got the, the big clear Pontal. These are really nice pieces. That one's 60. I don't know if I'm feeling 60 on that one, but it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Okay, what, does somebody wanna look at something? Patricia was requesting the silver candlesticks behind the galley. They are $700. They're they, 700, they so they're are real They are Tiffany silver. Sterling. Tiffany Sterling, so you got a good look at but them I there? I do wanna look at this a little closer. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, it's nice. It's got some quality to it. It does not look like the copies that I've seen. This, this actually is probably the real deal. Yeah. So here's where it's signed right there. And cameo glass is like a two layer glass. Uh, it's literally like made like a cameo, you know, where it's like carved out. Uh, so you can feel the different layers. Of course, Patricia, glad we got to show you. The details are really nice on this. Yeah. I think this, I think this piece is the real deal. And how much is that one? $600. Indeed. Patricia said, thank you for showing the silver of uh, good taste, but pass. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that will do it for this case. Oh, wait, wait. That's something I absolutely love. Oh, this is malachite glass made in Czechoslovakia. I actually have, actually, I sold my piece of this, I think. And it's malachite glass because it looks like malachite. It is absolutely stunning glass. You won't miss it when you find it because it's always this color and it's got beautiful figures on it. Um, this one says crystal handmade Czech Republic. So it's not going to say malachite glass. It's just going to look like malachite. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. So Patricia says, Danny, I really enjoy your knowledge. Oh, thank you. And Barb asks, what's the strangest thing you've ever seen people collect? Hmm. Hmm, gosh, I'm sure there's gotta be something. Oh, I know, <laughs> there was a phase. People were collecting dryer lint and making things out of it. That's strange. I think someone as far as to get like belly button lint. Hmm. And yeah, that's strange. That's strange. I remember hearing about that in the news. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a weird thing. Let's see. Look at how much care went into writing that tag. Oh, she does. So um, this beautiful lady has these booths and she knows her glass. It's all labeled like this. And this is why I tell people, if you want to learn, go to an antique mall where somebody has taken the time to identify and they know what the stuff is. Get your hands on it. Touchy feely. This is, it looks like Melly Bach. Mel Buck, and then it's got some more marks here. It's very Yadro like though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what like I kind of caught my eye as he, he looks like a Yadro. I think this booth is 30% 30% off every item. Oh, wait, unless marked firm 30% off of 38. Somebody do the math for me 380 times three, nine it would be about $12 off. I like this teacup too. Lavish gold trim. I think it has the mage, but maker and age unknown. Very fine porcelain. 
This one is 38. God, that's a beautiful piece. That is old. I'm going to go with late 1800s on that. Probably Japanese with this Moriage on it. Could be a Nippon. Really, really a beautiful piece. Oh, so dainty. Yeah, she just, she knows her glass. Not going to be too many bargains in here, which is okay. Like every mall, you, you got, you know, different, different business models for everybody. I do see something on the floor. I think I know where you're going. <laughs> oh, well, come here, my sweet. I'll make sure. Oh, you're a California USA. I don't have this one. I don't have this one. He is 38. Well, so he'd be, he'd be 20. about $26. All right, I'm, I'm getting him. He's old. I'm trying to stick with like really good vintage, nice collectible ones. I don't think I've ever asked you. What's your opinion on the Teenage Mutant Ninja variety? Yeah, I'm not big on the cartoony ones. Like, I know. I'm not. I have some. I have some. I bought, so um, Harry Tornado was doing a charity auction. Uh, they go, or, or Haley goes down to Haiti and supports the Mikasa, uh, the the charity down there. They, they build houses. They build schools. They, they do all kinds of stuff. So they did a charity sale last year, and one of the things they had was a Funko Pop ninja, mutant ninja turtle guy, and it was like the only turtle they had, and I think I spent $300 on him. So. He's in my collection. Someday, hopefully, he uh, brings himself up to that value. <laughs> it was for a good cause, though. Orange California poppies. Oh, she's suggesting to put orange California poppies in it. How sweet. Gary. Oh, we got an color. HTG here. Oh, yep. HTG. That stands for hand to Gary. Just in case anybody doesn't know. Cute little salt and pepper. Those are really good. Those look like Shawnee. Actually, they're either American Bisque or Shawnee, these, these three white sets. Look at the little soda fountain salt and peppers. <gasps> those are so cute. Oh, we might have to get those because they're 30% off. So they'd be, mm-mm-mm-mm. They're 15 minus 30%. 15, it would be, $12. yeah, they'd be like oh, 11 50. So, yeah, I like those. Right. What do you guys think? Should 15, I... $15 would be a dollar 50 times three, four fifty dollars It would be a 10 50. I, sh I feel like I should grab those. What do you guys think? Any others I should grab? Waiting for the lag. Yeah, let me know. There's cows, there's pigs, there's dogs. What are you getting? The soda fountains. Do you see the? I've sold that set. The cats. The little cat and dog. They're forty eight dollars. Got good taste. I sold those a while back. Let me know what they say. Yes, yes, cute. Yeah. Any of the other ones? I'm definitely getting those. Barb says, "Do it." I don't know. Any interest? Anybody have interest in the cows? The pigs, Deborah or the says dogs? the dogs are Shawnee. They are Shawnee. Okay. Do it. Get them. Says Debbie oh, Hamilton. So. I yes, think, I pigs. I double my money on those. Betty Fremont says pigs. Oh, does he have a chip though? <gasps> yeah. Hey, he's got a chippity doodah. Okay, maybe we'll get the dogs, the pigs, and the soda fountains. Maybe we'll do that. Do we have a case number? Um, um, I'm looking. It's in Joyce's booth, you can tell him. Joyce's booth. Joyce's booth. All right. They'll get that. How much are the penguins? Wendy was asking. They're the uh, they're the same. No, thirty-eight. No, they're thirty-eight. Penguins oh, yeah. are thirty-eight. That's Millie and Willie. Millie and Willie. All right. Let's see. You remember which ones are there, right? Now. Wait, wait, no, so I'd be. Sort of Look at the little Pokemon. It's a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. That's really cute. Look at the, can you see the crystals mm -hmm. they use in there? This is an assemblage. In case anybody wants to know what an assemblage is, this is the kind of thing I'm going to be making. Just something fun and 
Well, when mm-hmm. is it cold? There's the soda fountain, the pigs and the dogs. Yes. The yes. pigs and the dogs are 24. Wait, are they? Yeah, I thought I saw 15. Oh, these are 15 just because you saw that. So yeah. just the soda okay. fountain? So just the soda fountain. Just the soda fountain. Just the soda fountain. Just the soda fountain. All right. Mm-hmm. She's got a good yeah. Yes, there was a dog and cat one, but that one was forty eight dollars. Yeah. Oh, look at the little fryers. Aren't those funny? Yeah, those are they should be Gobel. Mm. Now, Gobel monks, the earlier versions and the ones that are still worth a little bit of money will have bare feet with toes. Oh. And what happened was they realized it was very intensive painting to do the feet bare. And then they switched over to just doing little black shoes. So if you find them with bare feet, those are more valuable than the ones with the black feet. Jacqueline is asking, what was the price on Bulbasaur? Oh, um, 65? 65 bucks. Wow. And we got some stones and crystals and towers and Donald Duck. <laughs> And Lakers and Ooh, sale twenty percent off any item twenty dollars or more. Jerry, did you lose yours? Oh, I always lose my marbles every time I turn around. <laughs> there might there might be some blowers in there. It's possible. Let's see. Mm, no. Not too much. No blowers. Surprising. No glowers. Oh. Right. This looks fun. Oh. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. This is a little safari hook strip for $16. So a little spoiler alert, because you haven't seen the video yet, but today I found something that would match this perfectly. I'm just saying. I can't pay. I can't pay 16 though. That's probably worth 20 to 25 if you were to put that on the resale market. Howdy doody and Clarabelle. It's howdy doody time. It's howdy doody time. Raggedy Ann and Andy books. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's that? This one looks like it came out of the library. Oh. Isn't that the library uh, little dust jacket? So it's two Florence with magical wishes. <gasps> it's signed. It's Kim so Gruel. So Johnny though. Gruel is the author, but Kim Gruel signed it. Signed by Kim Gruel, yeah. Oh, wow. And it's a... 1993, 1993. it looks like. 1993. And see, it's copyright by Kim Gruel. Interesting. That's a great book. It's in really spectacular condition too. It is $45, $45. Yeah, oh, but it'd be 20% off. That would be $9 off. Okay, so it'd be like $36. That's great. Here's some more Pyrex. I don't remember what we're supposed to be looking for in the Pyrex. French Pyrex, which they explained in the chat is thinner than regular Pyrex. Oh, oh. That is the, wait a minute, Amish, Amish print, Amish butter print. It's on it. Arquipal, yes. We will keep an eye out for that. Autumn harvest. It's amazing to me the uh, how the price of Pyrex has skyrocketed. It really is amazing to me. It used to be like a throwaway thing. Let's, what do we got down here? Baggies. That's kind of pretty. Let's find. show Danny. Wait, let's show Uh-oh. Danny again. What'd you find? What'd you find? Oh, Robin Huffman says, I taught an antique <gasps> dealer. Oh. What do we have? Look what they found. Cats. Two Jim Shore cats. Lovely. It's precious. Uh, Robin Huffman said, I taught an antique dealer to scan with her black light on Sunday because of you guys. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> Gary, the black light can tell you so many more things other than just uranium glass. Right. It can tell you lucite. It can tell you, I just found out, amber. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, black light is a, a really good thing. 
It can also help you spot cracks and flaws. Mm -hmm. A black light, I have one. I have one in my purse, but notice what I am not wearing. I am not wearing my purse. My purse is in a locker. You also know that you've got several black lights also, around you when you're with that. us. Yeah, I do. I know. I know. Picker Road never, never leaves home without the black lights. Pat Smiley. Is that a name I should know in earrings? Pat Smiley earrings. Hold on. Oh. I got to check something. Nope. Danny doesn't glow. I'm not glowing today. It's nice and cool in here. Well, that's why we kind of chose to come here today, too. I, I might say it is very humid like muggy, like Florida weather, humid out. And I thought that the swap meet tonight was going to be a little bit on the miserable side. So we thought, ah, oh, let's go to the antique mall instead. Those are interesting. Splendor in glass. Those are quite interesting. They are $4. Oh, I'm so getting these. You can show them those. They're dichroic glass earrings. They're pretty spectacular. And then I'm, I'm kind of leaning toward this. It's a Lacombe wearable art, but look at it. It's got a little quartz crystal in there. And it's this really abstract kind of a nineties thing for 12 bucks. Grab that one. Oh my, what in the, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing that you saw? Like, real quick, what'd you see? I, honestly, I don't... What'd you see? A face. Right? It's not. It's earrings. It's earrings. Okay. <laughs> I saw eyes and a nose. Too. I'm like, is that like a Furby kind of a thing? Uh -huh. But no, they're earrings. That's hilarious. People are asking about the phone right in front of you. Oh. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. They're Chapita earrings. Hold on. I'll get to the phone. Hold the phone. You know, nobody's dug down here for a while. I can tell. There's a Jack Skellington. He's $10. This is Halloween. Purse holder. Ooh, that's a little interesting. It's a bracelet? Oh. Huh. That's kind of interesting, huh? Let me see. I'm reading Christy W says we are approximately 25 miles away from us right now. And it's 111 degrees there. Ooh, I feel like I'm going to pick this up for three bucks. And Carlene, Mimi is asking how much were the gym short cats? Um, they were $20 each. $20 each for the gym short cats. Well, you see what I found? What do we have? My spirit animal. Are they uh -oh. lemurs? They're lemurs. Our We've lemurs. got ring-tailed lemurs. And the problem is they're just kind of like a composite. Aww. So I don't know. Hmm. I mean, if only they were really nice. That'd be, they're so sweet. Robin Huffman said buy them, and I think that was on the um, jewelry you were showing, Danny. A little lag. Yeah. Oh, which ones, though? I've, I've thrown a couple things back. I did get that earrings. Oh my gosh, it's Charlie's Angels. Hello, Angels. Oh my gosh, they're Charlie's Angels magnets. I feel like those are uh, authentic vintage. They look like it, for sure. Yeah, check that out a little closer. Those are, those are pretty cool. Oh, okay, these are, um, these are from the remake. Oh, are they? Oh, They're Martin. from the one that was, I say, came out in like 2003. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I'll show you what I got here in a second, guys. I'm gonna. Yeah, if those were the original Charlie's Angels, those would have been. That would have been fun. I love, I love digging in the, like a basket like this. This is like so fun to me now. I, I, did, I used to get kind of like annoyed with the time it took. And now I'm like, ooh, let's look for treasure. That matches that a little bit. Hold on. All right. Hold on to that. Any charms or beads in there? I'm looking. I'm looking. And any um, 
sorry, there was one other request. I'm going back and looking. By cats, of course, any foxes. Mm. What does the fox say? No, 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 no. Sorry. I had it's to it's like a knee jerk reaction. I don't know. It is. I know. We're sick. Okay. Look at this. I feel like this is a handcrafted piece. It's faux pearls, obviously. Uh, but that slice of turquoise. Now, I think that might be howlite. I don't know. It's hard to say whether that is enhanced turquoise or is howlite. I'm, I'm having a little trouble determining. What do you guys feel like on that one? I don't know. I'm, I'm torn on this one. I'm torn. Camelia is in here and says, I collect the three tulip designed by Fire King, if you see any. Okay. And hi, Camelia. Good to see you. I am going to get the Lacombs. So I do believe these would go together quite well. Um, they are both of the same style. They're the same brand. I feel like they're meant to go together. So $12 for the pin and $4 for for the earrings. And then we've got these little dichroic glass earrings that I showed you already. Those are so cool. Those are $4. And then this piece, I think this is the one you're saying, yeah, I get it, Danny. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, it's like a little charm bracelet. It's got little uh, feathers and then these little, I don't know what the metal is though. I don't know what that is, but I like it. And it's only $3. So I just don't know what to do with this one. What say they? All right. What do you all think about the pearls? I asked him, was there any comments about it? Yeah. Let's see. Looking, looking, looking. Just to the cats. I'm looking. Pass. We got okay. one pass. I feel like I should pass. My gut's telling me to pass on this. Mm -hmm. You're right. I think it's like an enhanced turquoise or a howlite, a dyed howlite. Okay, another little case. Let's see. Copper cuff. It's not, oh my gosh, look at Humpty Dumpty salt and peppers. Those are 50. Those are great though. 20% off in here too. Those are great. Ooh, all kinds of goodies down here. Some nice stuff. Oh, the phone. I didn't talk about the other phone, but this phone caught my attention. It's an absolute awesome dial phone. 602 area code. Where was that? I don't know. 602. Hmm. Where was 602? Where would 602 have been? And it says, Do they're, like their name is on here. D-O-E-R-R-E-S. Like this was some bougie family. Right. Had a phone with monogrammed with their name on it. Come on. And look at this one. It's got the ambulance and the mortuary. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah, because those are numbers you need to keep on your phone. They're $100 each. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're, you're old. Okay. All right, I'm going to see if anybody gets this. What number should you call? Pennsylvania 65000. Anybody get that? I'm going to wait for it. I was thinking something else. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Oh, I'm going older than that. Okay, well. Oh, he's a hoot. <laughs> Six oh two is Phoenix. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Well, it makes sense that it's up here in Vegas. I could see that happening. Oh, more glowy plants. Mm. There's an Artisania Rinconata. Very classic look when you find those. He would be 20% off. So he would be like... $28.80. Like five bucks off. He'd be like 23 bucks. Still. Oh my goodness. Does that glow? What? Where? Up yeah. here. Oh, no. No. It's an emerald glass. There, beautiful. there you go. Sarah got it. That'll be Glenn Miller, Will. Ah. Pennsylvania 65000. Okay. All right, you win. <laughs> so many little pretties. I am looking at the watch that has the black sheep. It's like all the little white sheep and then one black sheep. 
that would be a great gift to send to Sandra Brock, who has the channel uh, Sheepishly Me. I she is a sheep farmer. I, it's my yes. I that one I don't miss. Whenever I'm in just engrossed in her life right now and the plowing of the fields and the when it rains on the on the wheat and the you like kids. <laughs> Tracy says, I collect art artisania rinconata. Nice. Would oh, you see the vintage Disneyland playing cards in there under Northwest Airlines? Oh, whoa, those are old. I've seen those before. Those are very early on. Those are probably like mid 60s. What are they worth? Um, probably not a lot. I mean, they mm. made so many of them and people kept them. Yeah. They are cool, though. Mm -hmm. I'm a little entranced by that fish corkscrew. He's kind of fun. And remember guys, if you want to see something closer, or if you want to ask questions, that's why we're doing this live. So please, by all means say, Hey, can you show me and tell us what the item is? There's a little lag. So it's going to take a little bit for us to like, maybe go back and find it, but happy to do it. Oh, look at her. She's beautiful. $200, 1950s left and face vase. Beautiful. What's this one? Amber nugget bead necklace. That's pretty gorgeous too. Oh yeah. There you go. Pretty pretty. All the littles. Genuine stones and sterling uh, silver. Gail was saying um, glass snail and cabinet. Okay. Oh, look, there's more of these Lacombe. Oh, why are these ones 60? That's interesting. Oh, he absolutely loved the glowy glass that I found. Oh. Didn't he? <laughs> oh, sorry. Here's another one. These ones are these ones are twelve. That's interesting. The other ones I got were four. Okay. I'll I just with assume the ones. because these are in your hand, they're going to the pile. They're going to the pile. Absolutely. Okay, snail. A, a snail in the case. I'm looking. Right there. There it is. It's uh. Can't read it. It's um. Yeah. Yeah. See if you can. There's a beveled edge there. It's distorting it. It says, "1816 Crystal of Sweden." Ah. And he is. Oh, let me look under here. Twenty-eight dollars minus. And this is a this is the booth well, he'd where. Well, he'd be like twenty-eight dollars because right. I'd probably have to mark him up. About exactly. Time. Which I see who asked for the snail. Oh, Gail. Did you get a good look at it, Gail? You must gloves. Very pretty. Any white buffalo turquoise and jewelry. We're looking. We're looking. Wow, this booth's fifty percent off glassware. Oh, don't let it fool you. Ah, uh, priced up. Priced up. up. Gotcha. Oh, but you know what? There's probably an example of a cloudy, cloudy bottom in here I can show you. In fact, here's a piece. All right. Not Murano. I don't even have to look at the base. I can feel the weight, the thinness. It looks like it's, oh, it's got Millie Fiore. Look at the base. Mm. There is a cloudy base. I'm so glad we found this. That's what you don't want. That's what you don't want. Wow. I actually really like this piece. This is Fenton. Uh, usually you find this in reds and blues. And I've never seen a white one. That's really cool. So it'd be twenty two fifty. I just feel like that would be cool to put some stuff in. Mm -hmm. I like it. No, no, not that much. Not gonna. It should be. Yeah, 
Nah, I can find it for about fifteen dollars, I'm sure. Japan? I don't know. Looks Japanese to me. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And then this one. Oh, the summer so, which we didn't get to talk about. So summer so is when you have two colors that blend into one another, and there's different designers to different things. 20th century glass encyclopedia is the go-to place to really look this stuff up and learn. You can pull it up by designer and look at their styles. I can't tell you right off the bat who does the summer so like this, but this is a nice, they call it a geode shape. Uh, let's see this one. See, she's got it 145, so it would be 72.50, you know, but that's, that's a nice piece of Murano right there. Oh, there on the white. Can you see the two colors blending? Oh, yes. Really pretty. Really, really pretty piece. And at the right price, I'd pick that up all day long. No doubt about it. Ooh, cute. Cute little piece of pottery. So familiar, Will? Oh, yes. This. And that one actually has it's the penguin, penguin on it. So we need a little penguin to put on ours. Mm -hmm. How much do they have that priced for? $40. Uh -huh. I like this. It's signed Lake. Looks like Lake. Or Lalki. I don't know. All right. All right. Oh, no likey. No. This always disturbs me. Is that real fur? Yes. Oh. It's real seal. Mm. Mm. That's a cool piece of glass that they made into a trophy. The problem is you can't get it off of here. Oh. That piece of glass is really cool, though. Darn it. Darn it all! Oh, my. Tissue box covers. <laughs> a Golden Knight's couch. You need any doggy socks? I'm not going to pan up because there's some language on these. Oh. Oh. There's some intense language on some of those oh. socks. Yes. Yeah what you see. Oh, I love these pumpkins. I love these pumpkins. Little velvet pumpkins. Told you I have a thing for pumpkins. Is she a nutcracker? No. Yes. No. No, I guess not. Just a, just a sugar skull figure. All right. She looked like a nutcracker. Looked like she was made from a nutcracker. He's really cute. Made to look like he's antique, but he's not. But look mm. how cute he is. Mm -hmm. Like the Joker from a deck of cards. Look at these owl clipboards. Those are fun. Those are fun. I We had some of those at the store. We did. I remember that. We did. That. We sold a bunch of those. At the good stuff. Any Doroto. Doroto? D U R O T O. Oh, do like the Spanish or Portuguese. You guys gotta just shop with me. Right? Call it out if you see it. Mm hmm. I love that print up there. Look at that. Oh. The 20th Century Limited, New York to Chicago in 16 hours. That is cool. Look at these little Lennox petite pedal cars. Not Lennox, Lennox. <laughs> those, those are fun. A little bit of vinyl. Uh oh. Little bit of vinyl in your life. Little bit of vinyl. Ta da da. <laughs> this is so cute. Those are cute. Maurice mm, Chevalier still have his autograph in the Picaro boutique. He doesn't want to leave you. 
All right, 30% off. <gasps> oh. 40% off for dealers. Wedgwood, Magnolia. Call out if you see something you're interested in, folks. We're watching the chat. See, I could sell that for $12. How much was it? It's $12. Ah. That's what I'm saying. Gotcha. I could sell that for $12. I wouldn't have to mark it up. What is my favorite album? Oh, that's rough. It's rough because I love single songs off of so many, but if there's one truly complete album, probably have to say maybe Abbey Road. Little White Buffalo. It's kind of like that um, stone critter kind of feel. It's pretty. Would these be fun around the boutique? Oh, absolutely. Oh, you get them? Yeah. Those are awesome. That's great. They're That's fun. great. Another pretty oh, little porcelain oh, unmarked, which generally means pretty old. Would be 18. Is the whole booth 30% off or just the stuff up front? I'm looking. Let's That's see. What, I what does the sign the say? Is there's the whole booth 30% off? I'm looking. Where do you see? 30% uh, off, 50% uh, off these items, clothes, purses, jewelry, Yeah, but the 30% off, is that the whole booth? Pictures. Well, these items, books, DVDs, clothes, purses, jewelry, gloves, hats, shoes, no, scarves. That, not the 50% off, the 30% off. The 30% off everything else. Hmm. But so it's the whole booth. Because I kind of like that for 30% off. Look at these. I remember playing these when I, I was a little too. kid. Auto bingo. Okay, Dawn says the anthropomorphic salt and pepper. And Shelly says, look for 50 stuff. No, you gotta look for 50 stuff and tell me what you see. And Shannon says she has a hat that says the same thing as your shirt. Oh, not today. Not today. That's my message to my stalker, who I am sure is watching this. Mm hmm. Cobalt blue base, Fenton ribbed, swung base. So if it's 30% off of 68, would make it about like 50 bucks, let's say. Pretty piece. 20 on that one. Wednesday. You gotta look a little harder when you're at an antique mall. That you know, it's not like being at a thrift store where it's all just. This is already curated once. Now the thing is, to know a little bit more than the dealer, you know, or or have a a different perspective on something than the dealer, you know, and be able to get the better price. Apple powder, Franciscan. Is that wood or yeah? piece of duck scoop. He's fun. Ah! No plates were harmed in the making of this video. I assure you. It's a fun little disc picture. wonder who makes that one. It is not a Fiesta shape. It says 30% off everything. Oh, yeah. That's kind of, it's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Oh, this is an old piece. Look at this old kind of a crock bowl. They put very old bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the, look at the wear on that. I would, I would guess this is early 1900s. Gary? Yep. What a beautiful bowl. I mean, even with the damage, this is... Can you guys see it in my face? Like I've just, I get a piece like this and it's like the history behind this, that like somebody made their family's food with this bowl. And you can tell they used it a lot. Like this bowl was an everyday functional piece. So it's like, oh, it's just, mm, I love that. I might have to get this one. Let's see, it'd be... 
mm, like 12 bucks. How could I go wrong? Think about how much pancake batter oh, it made, says Amy. I just, this piece just calls to me. This piece just calls to me. I like it. Brenda's asking how much was the yellow Pyrex bowl? It, oh, it is 28. 28 minus. I mean, I could do it for 25. I found. Well. Oh, a turtle. How much is he? Well, he's ten dollars. Oh yes. So he'd be oh, he's a yes. He just just I take him to the front. I don't have any wind chimes. Take him to the front. I want to try to. Oh, here I'm gonna I'm gonna HTG this one too. Oh, there we go. Because I want to see this piece back here. Not that one. That oh. One. Let's see that one. Czechoslovakia, that's what I was thinking. Patricia says, I feel you, Danny. The history of the bowl right? has to be amazing. Yeah. $48 on this beautiful piece of Czechoslovakian pottery. Yeah, I thought the colors looked Ooh. very nice. The question is, are we having an owl and bird sale coming up? We will. We're oh, gonna yeah. we gotta put that together. You heard it here first. <laughs> we will put it together. Ooh, this piece is only eight dollars. Look at that lovely. With the hand painted poppies on it. Another old piece. See the difference between that bowl and like this piece. This was never a used piece. This piece was created to be a work of art, to be a decorative piece where that bowl was used in somebody's kitchen. Lennox. It's a Lennox Bud vase. I've sold this one before and at that price. Gotta grab it. I feel like I want this for eight. Right? I want that for eight. That's a great price. Eight, thirty percent off. That's like yeah. five seventy, yeah. five eight, five sixty or something. That's a no brainer. I like this little uh, baker's rack that has the wine holder on it. It's like a little mini bar. Oh, oh, it's is that part? Yeah, that's part of it. It has the wine bottle. Price on the green oh, cake here. pan. Did I miss a green cake pan? The one up here. Oh. I would not really want to ship that. $65 too. That would be a little bit of a beast to ship. Okay, watch your step through here. There are shoes laden all across the floor. More salt and peppers. That's funny, the fish. I know. It's like the head and the tail of the fish. Oh, are you a turtle too? <laughs> You're a turtle too. Terracotta turtle ashtray. It's kind of cool. I don't quite understand the hole in his face though. Why does he have a hole in his face? Hmm. Huh. He's a kind of, all right, yeah, you know what? I can pass on him. He's a little weird. Sorry, you're a little weird. I'm going to leave you there. Let me know what you guys want to see closer. I do like the peanut mug. I do like the peanut mug. It says USA. And ink. No. PNI. No. PN1. Oh. PNI. Brenda says that's an ashtray and the smoke comes out of the turtle's mouth. No, that's just wrong. Just no, you can't expose a turtle to that. I like I like this. What do you feel like this is worth for you know it's ten dollars? I don't think do we have a sale in this booth? I'm looking, I don't see any signs on this one. Mm. Do we have any signs here? Sign, mm. sign, everywhere a sign. You will wear a sign. Yeah, what do you guys think on the peanut mug? I like him. This is my first item. Thank you. I'll oh. put it in. We're doing HTGs. You can put it in my bin. No. Put it in our names. Yes. Yep. I pay for my merch. <sighs> Too kind. Strawberry wall pumpkin. Hello, kitty. Mm -hmm. Oh, this 
small games. Was that a sock monkey behind you on the wall? Oh, there. Oh, is it? Let us go see. It is $35. There's some in the chair, too. Oh. Are you the real old thing? You look handmade. Yaps and duty. How inappropriate. What? That I'm looking at the Flip. the dupa of the... You've got to look and see if it's got the, <laughs> the little sock mark there. This one's 25 Let's fix your hands so you don't look inappropriate. There we go. I'm pitching a movie, Planet of the Sock Monkeys. Mm -hmm. I think you'll have trouble getting investors. Oh my gosh, look at these mooses. But where is squirrel? Mm -hmm. That does not work together. Mm. That's a no. No, 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 no. Uh, Patricia was asking how much for the Hello Kitty purse. Let me just peek back and take a look. It is seventeen dollars. It's a it's a hard plastic. Oops. Sixty nine dollars for that scoop. That's a knee cutter. Right. Eye on that because we have to leave time to check out so we don't keep them opened past opening time. These are cool. I mean, they're probably like from Ikea or something, but they're super cool. I like, I <laughs> like those. Debbie, Debbie Riley says, oh my gosh, you said dupa. My cousin always says that. <laughs> the Hello Kitty purse was $17 and it's a hard plastic. likes those those are fun i'm kind of i don't know how much they are though i'd have to have them find out how much they are but it seems like their prices are pretty good in here oh look at that somebody was asking for mirror trays earlier look at how cute that is it's not old but it's cute No, that booth was not on sale. The last booth was, was all retail. No answers on the, those vases I like? Not yet. Help me, guys. Help me make a decision. And remember, folks, we got a bit of a lag. So if Danny asks you about an item, say yes to vase or vase. Were those vases or vases? Uh -huh. Look at this. Okay. See? But it's got a... Those are great. Great for usable storage. Right? That's cool. Yes, like Vaz, says Shelly. You liked them, right? They're cool. Hey, hey. Your mom's over there buying stuff. I hear her. I want to see what she's finding. Yep. They don't have a price. There's no price. Can you um, tell them it's from Space 64? And it needs a pricey poo. There's no price on them? There's no price. Nope. Oh, can you price them? Thank you. No, but I will call somebody. Oh, okay. 64, right? 64. We have ways of bringing you prices. We have ways. Interesting. Coral necklace. Yeah, a lot of people were saying yes on the vases. Yeah, I like them. What do you find? Yeah, I found a little French purse, fifty percent off over there. Mm. Nice. And uh, I think that's it. <gasps> what? I want to make sure I get to my most favorite booth. There's okay, a bin of vinyl. May I suggest yeah. you do that Here, now? No, about, no, no, no. I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll, go. I'll take the camera Ooh. and you go shop some vinyl. I know how to handle a camera, believe it or not. I'm going to be up here. Well, let's see. It might be one row over. 
Yeah, it's one row over. All right. He'll catch up to us. We are going to go to my most specialist, favoritist booth before we run out of time. Look at this piece. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to give that, uh, I'm not going to give the person any more attention because that's all they want from it, really. I only gave it as the explanation to why I did not have a video yesterday. I've returned. He's, he's back already. No, no cool vinyl. You know, it's a lot of the titles I already have. Look at these little chakra trees. <gasps> oh, I like. This is not the booth. This is not the booth I was going to. Look at all that glowy glass over there. Oh my. Okay, we gotta sweep it. Okay, wait. Why am I not finding her booth? Hold on. Where has her booth go? And I'm going to look at that owl in a second, if you've all seen it. Uh -huh. Did we skip a row? Uh, we haven't gone down this one. No, and not on the end. The very first one against the wall. No? She's in... Look at that. All right, I'm looking. I'm looking. How much is he? That's a hoot if I've ever seen it. It's handcrafted by Love Conroe, Texas. $22. That's really nice. I like that one a lot. Yeah. In, in big showcase. It's not on the end. I know for a fact it's in the middle somewhere. Hmm. It's in the middle and in the middle. Look at all these um, matchbooks with the Beatles on them and Star Wars. Those are fun. That's a good price on those. 12 bucks. It's not a bad price. I have a little collection of the little Japan and Czechoslovakian birds. I gotta find that pottery. Gotta find it. We must have missed the I don't think we went down the center row, did we? There it is. Aha! Okay. Uh -huh. We're running out of time. I know we're running out of time. Well, you know, you guys can you can wrap my stuff up. It's yeah, okay. This booth. Oh my. This is the booth of fun. Oh wow. Right? Oh, I love this booth. I try to get a little something out of here each time just because her stuff is just spectacular quality. And she throws some really nice jewelry in here too with really good prices usually. Let's see what's new since I was here. Let's see what we got. Right here. Marco. Polo. 50% off green X. Yes. Did we find? So any, yes, this, this is, is the booth. booth. Anything with a green X is 50% off. Okay. And she's yeah, always right. adding green X's to stuff. So there's new green X to like, look, look, 750 on that beautiful, beautiful piece. I think it's stone. It's like a. Chelsea says wowza for the cobalt blue cameo of Oz. A very translucent. I want to see that. That Wedgwood there is only 750 the Wedgwood there. You know, I'm not a big Wedgwood fan. I'm like, yeah, yeah I like Wedgwood when I pay 50 cents for it. Like that sale wow, we went to in Reno. Yeah. For sure. That piece of coral is $8. I have to see if that's real coral. If that's real coral, that's a no brainer. I feel like that polished stone necklace is a no brainer. Okay. We need Barb Russell is asking, will the items you pick up be in the new items listed on YouTube? Yes. They'll be, Shopify. Yeah, that's actually my Shopify store. So it's nicheladyshop.com. And I will put a link and, and I put things, I, I put things in collections based on the video they appear in. So when you go looking for an item, you can literally go over based on what video it was in. So it's, it's working pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Is that cloisonne there, the green? That is cloisonne. It's $30 only. Yeah, right? And oh, wait, no, no, no. It's marked down to 45 and now it's half off. So that's $22.50. $22 and that's beautiful cloisonne. Wow. That one's only 15 And that is, yeah, absolutely 1920s cloisonne with a dragon on it. Do you want to have that one open? Yes. We need a key. This is only twelve fifty right here. Right? Our prices are just, yeah. I love, I love this case. All this jewelry up here, half price, two dollars and fifty okay. cents for that. I wish Dawn of Hudson Vintage was here because I watch her 
pick up these crystal necklaces all the time and go a little gaga. And here we are. We have a whole collection of these crystal. How much? Thirty-nine. Uh, for the pair. I'll have to look a little. Closer. Thirty-nine. Uh, yeah, I can't go that high. Darn it. Yeah, those bases were forty bucks. I'm like, I like them, but I can't do that. You find anything with green on it? Well, oh yes, the green oh, X's tons. are all over here. Get in there. Yep, we gotta let her in. Let her in. Let me in. Let me in. Which side? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll start on this side. <laughs> Since I'm standing here, we'll get good. We'll answer. start over here. That's a good answer. Oh yeah, those are cool. Oh. Yeah, crystal. There we go. So it's 1950 for that one. These are these are only $2.50. $2.50. No brainer. This one is half price. This one is only $9. That's $2.50 as well. Yeah. So $9. I'm going to get this necklace. Okay. And I'm going to get the bracelet for $2.50. Those are beautiful. How much is this? This is I see a the green copper luster. Isn't that incredible? That's twelve dollars and fifty cents. Yep. See how she wow. marks down, marks down, marks down. Yeah. That's really something. Yeah. Look at this little guy. That's old. And that one's not so exciting. Uh, so, uh we've got Charmin saying, get the green cloisonne. Oh, yeah, totally. You should. You want me to get it? You guys want to get it. Um, look at this with the wow. Oh, look at the little, it's got a little safety clasp thing. I just, I just chopped all my nails off. I have no nails to open that. But this, I don't, serpentine? Is this a serpentine? It's like a mesh, multi strand kind of cool thing for only six dollars yes please slag glass rooster he is only ten dollars i love him we will get him oh, let me look at this piece that is something wow a uh, dragon vase what do you uh, say looking, about this? Oh, I see it. I mean, Studio Fifty Four. That's yeah, some crazy. There. Kind of like it. Melissa says safety clasp is quality. Right. Yes, on the rooster. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't really know about that piece there. Okay, let me hand these over. These are yeses. Barb says, just clear the shelf. I literally almost do that every time. Okay. I've seen this before, but I don't think Harleen has seen this. What? Look at the hair <gasps> Oh, my. It's a dancer's. Could you imagine? Tortoiseshell. Not uh, real tortoiseshell. It's plastic, but that's what they call it. Because literally, and I've showed you guys this, when a turtle sheds its scoot, uh -huh. it looks like that. Mm -hmm. So this is how it got its name, tortoiseshell. Amazing. Is that spectacular? It keeps getting marked down. It's down to fifty. Next time it probably down to will twenty-five, be half price. right? Oh, no, no, because no, no green. Yeah, that's no green. Okay, what um, are we? Are we getting the cloisonne? People were saying yes, and the cloisonne and the dragon. But those aren't marked down. The one is. This one is. So this one's twenty-two fifty, but this one's only fifteen. So where's the dragon? It's on here. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pick those up. I know Melissa is logging everything, so I don't want to go too fast. Star Lacey and Debbie Hamilton, Hamilton both said yes on the chunky necklace. Really? Okay. How much, how much was that? Uh, it's um, 13. I feel like. And the pink glass above, please. Oh, I see it. I'll. I'll... Okay, we're going to we're gonna open That's... the other side. Yeah, we'll come around. Stand by. Stand by. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Got it. Do we get? Trying to look at the class. It's got weight to it. It does. It Lobster is. claw. It's an older piece. There was a price on it. I thought I saw. 
Maybe not. Yeah, that one that one didn't excite me as oh, much. Here's the prize. <laughs> okay, let's. All right, I'm gonna back up this way, and we're gonna open the other. You know what? Actually, let's trade. When does she come in? Let's do -si do. No, she's got an amazing eye. Was this a lot of this her personal collection? I don't know. Okay, the flower frog. I know a lot of people wanted to see. I think they call her a, a bashful something. She's got a name. She's Cambridge. Cambridge Glass. She is $85. But she's bashful something is what they call her. 1920s. Interesting. Seed bead necklace from the 1980s. Oh, and Look it's got that. a piece of glass in it. Cats on the top shelf. Do I see cats anywhere? Cats. Oh, these. The bisque cats. Oh. oh. They're from, it looks like the 1900s. Mm. I like this. Look at the quality of those little seed beads. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at the detail of those. Multi-strand. Okay, I'm going to get that. It's $12. Where's Gary? Right here. There we go. Well, she's right there, too. I think that's the tag yeah, there. Yeah. Look at this little jar. This is old Wedgwood embossed Queensware for $12. This tape's shut. It, oh, it does have a big crack. Oh, this piece. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, and the coral you yeah. want to look at. And I'm feeling, I feel like it's real coral. Um, this piece is marked down to seven fifty. Yeah, that's. It's like. I'm trying to figure out what that is. Can't tell if it's glass. Or a stone. Either way. Oh, thank you, Linda. Linda says she's having a great time watching. Yay! I love it. I love this. Let me. The white cats are seventy are fifty five dollars. Oh no, this is this is not real. Not real. But you know what? I love it. I'm gonna decorate with this. This is this is how I decorate at my home. And for eight dollars, that's like a no-brainer for me. Okay. How about the lusterware there, no? Chris? I'm not a like big fan of the lusterware. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, it's uh, it's not really my thing. If anybody would like really was calling it out, I'd get it, but look at the angel tile. Look at the detail in that. You might want to bring it down. Purchased $8. You might want to bring it down. Yes. Yes, please. She's beautiful. Oh, who was asking about American Brilliant? Oh, yeah. We had several That's requests not. earlier. That's not. Oh, that is. Do you guys know how I know? It's the feel. It's That is so sharp, it wants to cut my hand. That one, this one's sharp. It is cut. It's a later, a later period cut. Wow. Oh, yes. You feel a sharpness in oh, that, yes. baby? Oh, Ooh, yeah. The sharpness is your clue on that. I want her. Mm -hmm. All right. Whew. What a rush. <laughs> Was there any jewelry on this side that we needed? Danny, are you done in here? Uh, yes, we're done in that one. We're good. I think we're good. I think. Oof, I gotta take a breath. That was a lot. You are so <laughs> smart. You've been doing this a long time. Huh? I have been doing this a long time. I started buying and selling when I was a teenager. You paid attention. He's pretty spectacular. Wow. Look at that. It's all sequins and silk and gold. got another two elephants on it. Yeah. Six a, elephant runner. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thirty-five. Thirty-five dollars price on that. Oh, this. Look at that. Happy. 
$4.25. That's a crazy, that's a crazy necklace. I feel like we're going to grab that one too. I feel like 90s on this maybe. The price is right. The price is right. Look at the Americana chicken. That's a fun piece. J. Wines. Okay, look at the look at the chain on this one. Is that kind of like that? No, it's different than that first one we found a while back. But that's a pretty fun chain. That's a pretty fun piece right there. Come on, you gotta gotta love it. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. When can we buy the items from today's video? I'm going to do my best to get them in the shop tonight. So just kind of keep checking back when the video is in replay mode. And when you, uh, well, as soon as I get them up, uh, they'll be up. So give me a couple hours. <laughs> Rachel does help me. So Rachel, this is Rachel's new job is helping mom get things into the Shopify store. So. She'll be happy and have a little work to do tonight. Oh, with a little That one's kind of beautiful. Look at the blues and the green. It's a Japanese. Teaching me there will be, it will be on here later. But what's the direct link to your website? I think it's nicheladyshop.com. I'm sure Melissa will post it in the chat. Nicheladyshop.com. The things you're seeing there right now are things that I've picked up in like the last about five or six videos. Oh my. It's a baggie of cuteness. There's some old pieces in there. I was trying to get down here to see if we had any bakelite hiding. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, what's really cool here is they've already been like bringing my stuff up and packaging it up for us, so it won't take long at the checkout at all. Yeah, vintage Schamburg Art Nouveau vase. I think I looked at this one with uh, George, the Antique Nomad, because it's really kind of a stunning piece. Oh, but they were asking 35 on that, so that's a little, a little more than I can do. Okay. What else? Did we go to the mid century booth? I don't feel like I we don't did. know if we did. I don't think we did. More jewelry. More jewel. Oh, there's a micro mosaic i'm a little bit fond of those okay they don't have a lot in the booth today uh looks like they had sold the big dining set that used to be here um, but they pick up really cool things like look at these chairs like those those are awesome Oh, we got a speaker right overhead. That could be like la, la, talking, la, la, talking, la, la, la. talking, talking. <laughs> We're good unless we get right under the speaker. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Do you guys know what that is? Don't look. Somebody shout out what this shade is made from. It's pretty spectacular when you think about it. Got to wait for the lag for you guys to hear me ask that question. Porcupine quills? Yes. Ah, oh, Amy it, got it. It is porcupine quills. Is that amazing? And then it's a little bird lamp. They're asking two twenty-five on that. Two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay, let's get away from that speaker. Because we do not want the copyright claim. Those are cute. Look at that. Nail art. Kind of puts the nail on the head. Twenty-one ninety-five. That's really cute. 
I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Metal Sandpiper. He's 15. Ooh, stand, Sandpiper, stand. I was hoping to find more like jewelry to kind of like dig through. You know? I like the digging through stuff. This is an amethyst glass. They're calling it Joe St. Clair inverted fan feather. Uh, let's see if you can hold it up to a light. You can kind of see that amethyst color coming through. Now, let's see. Let's find here. Right, right under the light. I'm looking. I'm trying to get the angle. Get the angle. Here. There it is. There. there it see is. that? Oh, yeah. I love that. Love it. Are those white rabbits down there salt and peppers? They are not. <laughs> they are not. They are just white rabbits. It was so cute. Uh, Tiffany, Tiffany and I um, drove together to go to the little meetup at Katie and Vicky's house. And um, it was a potluck and um, I didn't have anything. So Tiffany took care of me, <laughs> but she put everything in her vintage uh, amber glass candy dishes. It was so, it was so fun to like just use them, you know, like they're meant to be used. It was great. She loves the amber glass. This is Royal Copley. Royal Copley kitty cat planter. For $25.95. Royal Copley is pretty easy to spot. It's pretty signature to have this little ridge here on the base. And I love that it still has its original sticker. Again, this is why I say go to the antique malls. Go to the places where the finer things are. Things that are most likely to still have their original labels. Nobody can tell you that's not Royal Copley. So you learn, you go, oh, that's what it feels like. That's the construction. Now, if it doesn't have this little tag, next time I find this, I'm going to know this is Royal Copley. Somebody who's only buying things that are marked or identified is going to pass it by. And they're going to pass a really good deal. Somebody was asking, how much are the copper pans? I'm seeing $25, $13, all that kind of. Oh, on the molds? On the molds, yeah. And uh, the question was, why didn't I sing White Rabbit by Jefferson Starship when we passed the White Rabbits? I don't oh. know. I wasn't inspired at that moment. Are you, but, are you slacking? But now, you know, one man on the chessboard, go hey. and tell him what you know. Hey, Will. Squirrel. Squirrel. All right. We got 15 minutes before they close. The question is, is the good stuff still open? I think it's open till six today, right? They are open until six, so we got 15 minutes to check out. But they're bringing the stuff up, like I said. They're bringing the stuff up right now. And we're not at the good stuff today. As long as we don't uh, bring them like 26 things at the last minute, we're good. <laughs> Why is that such a signature? Is that... Um, it's uh, Gucci's signature Gucci. colors. It is Gucci's signature colors. Oh my, look at that. Wow. It's not, I mean, it's got Gucci quality, but it's not, not so Gucci. Am I still selling in my store? Absolutely. I have a whole stage full of goodies. And viewers, you come into the Good Stuff Thrift Store, and if you tell me you're a viewer, you tell my cashier you're a viewer of the channel, 25% off. Ooh. It's the super secret special discount. So only the 1,096 of you watching know about the super secret. That's right. Hoot. That's, that's cute. Hoot. That's cute for 12 bucks. Yeah, you're right. Jefferson Airplane, not Jefferson Starship. It's been a long day. Ooh. Bird. These are shakers. Oh, these are, oh, they don't have their chirpies anymore. So these used to make noise. They got their little noise things, but they're long. They shrink up, they shrivel up, and then they no longer, for lack of a better way to describe it, they don't hold their gas anymore. Aww. Yeah. Um, $24, not bad for those. 
I love the repurposed shutters. Those, mm -hmm. are, those are really pretty, the colors used. Oh, those are cute. Oh my gosh. What are these made of? These little clay doggies? It's 18 for the set of three. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Kitty cats are cute. I know cats never get old for people, but I need a little break from cats. Like, I'm just saying. We did have a lot of cats this week. Oh, my goodness. It's been nothing but cats. This is a cute book. Good night, fairies. I love illustrations. Children's books illustrations are the best. Wow. Let's go. Oh. Kick us out. Uh -oh. They're gonna kick us out. Price on the cigar boxes, real quick, real quick. I'm looking. Last call. I'm doing it one-handed. Hey, that's what we should do at my store. Does that work? They're four dollars a piece, depending. Or do people like me keep lagging? Last call. Twenty-two. Sounds like we're serious. Mm-hmm. It's like we want to go home. Squirrel. All right. Well, how many people do we still have? About 1,100. Wow, we have 1,100 of you still watching. How fun is that? So what do you guys, would, would you like us to go out to the truck and chit chat a little bit? Or would you like us to sign off and for me to get home and get that stuff listed in the shop? Those are the two options. The longer we chat, the longer it takes me to get the, the items into the shop. Watching the chat, watching for comments. Hello. Look at that bracelet with the kitty eyes, the blue kitty eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got chit chat, chit chat, list in the shop, chit chat. Ah! We're so torn now. A lot of chit chats, some listings. Okay, tell you what, we'll do the best of both worlds. We'll chit chat for just a little bit. Um, because we got to get loaded up and everything and, um, and then we'll get home. Can we stay live in the, in the truck? We should be able to. Can we did it. We did it during the storm the other night. I mean, cause we have to be on the road anyway. So we'll use driving time as yeah. chit chat time. I'm not on the, I wasn't on the Wi-Fi or anything. Chit chat. It just sounds like some, I don't know. That's we will, we will chit chat. chat. We'll chit chat. We'll talk about things. Talk no. about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. There's some more amber. Mm -hmm. Technically, are you ready for me? Yeah, technically, I'm the only one that does that. Shelly, one of the vendors told Shelly, Oh, you know, Ed yells yeah, for quarter. I do it at quarter tail. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to be a customer. Well, of course. So, and then Shelly goes, Well, I better not catch you. We are in the beast farm. I'm like, You know what? You know, we want to get a time too, right? Of course. Anyway, I got two of Okay. Hey, yeah. Uh... Oh wait. So I'm just trying to find some prices on this. I see ten dollars on that one. Oh really? Because I do sixty on the bracelet. I guess that just means we're just gonna have to come, come back here again. Come pay for your thing. We're getting ready to close the register, hun. We're gonna have to come back here again. Oh, absolutely. Did you guys vote for that? Yes. Was this fun? Oh, did charms. You, now, did you get charms. my charms? There's charms. You did, yeah. Wow. Shut all your Funko Pops. And... Oh, that's oh. your booth with the Funkos? That's yeah. Insane. I'll be back. There's so much great stuff in there. Yeah. The with the Hot Wheels and the big oh, yeah. yeah. That's mine. Yeah, I'll be back in there looking. All right. There's great stuff in there. You, you, you buy a lot of yeah, I'll hook you up. Hey, I'll Thank you. Yes, long. everyone's saying, yes, absolutely, we're coming back here. Yeah, look at all the charm bracelets. Sterling bracelet for twelve dollars. Wow. What? What? Well, and then there's one for one eighty. So it's like it's the whole. You got your you got your black light. You I do. I do. Here it comes. It's coming. I don't. I don't really think it's around. Oh, hello. That's fifteen. Let's grab that one. Lobster.
No. Uh, no. Plastic. This one, though. All right. I think this is my last purchase to bring up. They want to go home. But don't go anywhere. We're not We're not signing out yet. Absolutely. Oh, I got to get my... Oof. More Star Wars trading cards. My eye is caught. Harleen has my key. Aha. My locker. It has the money in it. Where, where is she? Ah, oh. okay. She'll be right out. She'll be right out. Oh, sidewalk sale. September 23rd. Mark the calendars. We'll have, maybe. Ooh. We might be able to go live then. I think well, we could do that, right? Lots of music, though. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see. We'll figure it out. We might not be able to come in. We might just, we'll see. The little key that I put in your pouch. I did it. I For the locker, so I can get my purse. Can I put this necklace in the purse? Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Do you, oh, did do you, you find a necklace too? Yeah. Did you happen to see where my um, Lennox went? Yeah. Let's talk. Oh, about it. oh, thank you. Can we talk about the things that they bought in the truck? Of course. Because they didn't get to see them buy right. stuff. So. We're gonna we're gonna do a little talk in the car after we. Yeah. Um, you okay with that? So you want to get the air going as soon as possible, probably. This is a great. I we got the locker system at my store, you know, because of this. This is a great system. Uh, Vicky, uh, the uranium was probably about thirty minutes ago, so you might oh. need to update the ch uh, the uh, video a little bit. We'll be back here for sure. We will absolutely be back here. Uh, okay, so the stuff that Danny purchases will be in the Shopify link after tonight. It'll be later tonight. Four ninety two. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't. Follow them on Instagram, so folks. Give them follows on Instagram right now if you can. Catch right now, but I could, if I could go back. At Paradise Valley Antiques on Instagram. We've got 1,100 people in the room. Let's see their Instagram just blow up right now. Love these vintage postcards here. Smothers That's Brothers. Where I got you the ones I got you. Oh, thank you. It's a Wonderful Life. Merry Christmas, you old building alone. Kevin Sorbo is Hercules. So many great oh, Hogan's heroes. Wow. I see nothing. Thank you. <laughs> Karen says you can come in every week as far as she's concerned. Let me finish. She was ready to paper, but I'm doing this one first. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, look at those angels up there. Those are huge. Aren't those incredible? They are. Oh, that's great. People are following you guys on Instagram right now. Excellent. I know. Aren't they great? I'm going to stick them around all the... the wait, wait. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. There's six, including this one. No, there's seven, including that one. They're very fun. They all blend together. I can't tell. They're all fun. Danny, your pin number Oh, we won't show that part on camera. Look at all these vinyls here. I could spend hours going through all these vinyls. Chicago, Survivor, Barry Manilow. Hey, on Monday night... At the end of our whatnot show, I'm going to do you pick them vinyls, and I've got some amazing titles, some really great ones to choose from. There's just so much here. I mean, it could take days, days to get through everything. We're going to show you, Barb. Stick with us. When we get out to the car, we're going to talk about what Picker Road found. Yeah, well, did you guys get it sorted out? Yeah. You 
God bless our mortgage home. Uh, Star Lacey, most likely it'll be on Whatnot. We're on Mondays and Wednesdays right after Danny. She raids us. It's a mini Vegas train. So we're going to go out to the car and show everything. For WFG. Waiting for Gary. Waiting for Gary. Look at this there TV while we're waiting. I know, right? Could Gary. you imagine just what? seeing I Love Lucy on that? Gosh. You know what people are doing with these now? They're making aquariums. <sighs> wow. Yeah, you kind of gut them out and you make an aquarium out of it. That's so cool. That's such a classic mid-century TV. That is amazing. It's a C oh, RCA Victor. Yeah, RCA Victor. Mm. We had one of these when I was a little, little kid. Watched my first episode of Star Trek on one of these. Oh, wow. Nice. Barb says, you're stuck with me. Apologies in advance. We love having you on the stream, Barb. Look at this set. The pole lamp, the hanging lamp, and the table lamp. What are the chances of finding the three of those still wow. together? Wow. Wow. 150, 275, and down here. 430. That's, That's amazing. That's amazing. Imagine that in like a Palm Springs home. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, mm -hmm. I wish I had my grandmother's uh, pole lamp. She, hers was the one that had amber glass shades. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm oh. sure it got thrown away. I'm sure it got thrown away. It's the story, right? Oh. It's just the story. So much stuff in my grandmother's house got thrown away. Evil aunt. Mm. Yeah. All right. All I think right. is that the last HTG? I think it was. Shall we head out to the beast? All right. <laughs> oh, what are they doing over there? Is there a like quinceañeros? Yeah, yeah, the dresses they wear. Oh, in 110 degrees. Ooh. Look at her dress. Wow. Do you see that she just recorded a cover of um, Let It Be with Paul and Ringo? Did she? Yes. Wow. All right, let's get into the beast, folks. Look, Welcome to the beast. It's hot. It's warm. Okay, hot. can we just say it? Can we just put it to rest? Yes. The reason I sit in the front seat is because Will is filming. Angle. That's it. You would have to be like, Cranked around like this. That's the reason. I was sitting in the back. So that is the reason, and I am absolutely me. fine with it. <laughs> Danny and I are besties. She can sit in the front to film. <laughs> this is my stuff or her? No. This, no, this, this, is, all this is all you. This okay. Is all you. Where's your stuff? Down in the back. Oh, good. That's what we want to talk about. We're going to show because they didn't get to okay. see most of the stuff we got. Talk about, talk about, okay, talk so because um, usually you guys can see what they buy in their videos, so. Again, I want to just say, if you don't know the Picker Road family, go check out their channel. Give them a little subscribe. They're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. How many people we got watching? Uh, 1,065. We could make it happen tonight if everybody would just go over and subscribe. Whoa. Oh, my God. Because how close are you? Could you imagine? Uh, we're at 4,200 as of today. 800 of you who have not yet subscribed to Picker Road. Uh, if you could please go over, click the little subscribe, uh, and, and of course, That'd watch be a video. Amazing. Thank watch you for posting the link, you. Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Thank go, you, everyone. Go watch, go watch the uh, absolutely heart stopping like church rummage sale purchase. <laughs> that was like incredible. heart stopping. Like $4,000 worth of merchandise oh in 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we yeah. have everybody go watch that so. one. <laughs> We didn't know that was going to happen. This is, it was this is Will's. We didn't think anybody would be there. Will chose that. So that this was my is, one purchase. Yep, this is Lennox. Pretty classic Lennox. 
I've sold this specific one three or four times because it's so right. popular and it's just a it's lovely a little bud vase. It is a classic with the rose and then the little roses on the back. Great little find. Easy to ship. <laughs> Betty Fremont called us the purse snatchers. We, <laughs> she, she's saying that because we bought like 45 purses at oh, that sale. Right. There were designer purses for $3 a piece. It was yeah. incredible. That was crazy. Crazy. This is really fun. This was a, in one of the last sales. I'll let you hold this and we'll can film it because he'd be filming into the light if oh. I could. It's rose quartz. I looked at this one. It's Remember, rose. I looked at this one. I said, oh, that's pretty. I just thought it was really pretty. It is rose quartz. I wasn't sure what kind of a crystal it was. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, everyone who just oh, yeah. subscribed. Oh, thank you guys so much. Absolutely stunning. It's rose quartz. It's so organic. And look, is that, is it sterling? I don't think so but it's just beautiful i love it couponing farm girl says harleen was in turbo at that sale she <laughs> was <laughs> she I was i went into overdrive that's really pretty love that look at that how it's translucent look at that in the light yeah yeah gorgeous? stunning that's imagine how it's gonna got, look i wonder if now this case isn't but this case alone has value i mm. know I'm trying to see what it says on the back Made in you with fashion by. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Thank you, everyone who subscribed. Thank really you means so a lot much, to guys. us. We post three times a week, and we're on whatnot twice a week. Right after Danny, Mondays and Wednesdays, we have a little Vegas train that we do. And this is a little purse, oh, the most that. delightful oh, little sea hide. pearls oh. made in yeah. France. Oh, I feel like there's something in there too. Uh, made in France. Look at the, the beads. Oh my gosh. So dainty. It's very clean inside. Made in, I, I think. <laughs> yes. Those. When she rang it up, she asked if she could put it in there. Look at, look at the sparkle. It's like a disco ball. Burn, baby, burn. burn. Disco and burn. Yeah, that's nice. Couponing, couponing farm girl would like to know what does Gary collect? Uh, cars. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that is marked 95. Oh, okay. nice. I couldn't even the, see it. The Keeper class. But yeah, nice. it's absolutely signed 925. Those are real Aurora Borealis crystal. Ooh, Look sun. at the sparkle all over Ooh, you. Oh, you're, disco ball. You're, you're glittering right now. Um, he's nice. always on the lookout for a really cool muscle car that he could restore and flip and have a lot of fun with. So if that ever happens, you'll see it for sure. More, more realistically, what I'm really looking for is uranium glass. Yes. Yeah. For sale. He has he, a, that's that's our joke. We're like, whenever we see something that might glow, is where's Gary? <laughs> that black is, light will travel. This is new. He never did that before. Well, he was in, he became years. enamored with, with it right. when he saw it on um, on all these YouTube videos know, as yeah. we were starting our channel up. Yeah. I'm trying to, they wrap these really tight. I'm trying to get yeah, that's the thing here. They, they definitely wrap them. So hey, Mac, you will see our items for sale on Monday night. Here we go. On, um, on whatnot. Oh, the gym shores. Now, Tiffany just sold one of these. At the other one, the one that I have. 65 I think so. She did. $65 is what it brought. So this is Abraham. And 2003 gym shore kitty cat. So he's 20 years old. Four score and seven meows ago. <laughs> All right. And this is the one that's... I believe that Tiffany just sold. The question oh, is, how yeah. much did you pay for that beaded purse? Uh, the beaded purse was marked 28. I got it for half price of 14. Half price? Wow. Oh, yeah. Or a very similar one to this. And Barb Sim says Abigail. you scored on these. Yeah. And Jim Shore. I never find Jim Shore. Well, so I really wanted to, to yeah, grab these. Today. Oh, too Carol, bad, Carol too says. Bad you didn't have them for the cat sale. I Carol know. says $66 because she's the one who bought them. Oh. There you go. There you go. I know, but then I wouldn't have wanted to have the same close to what Tiffany had. It's okay. All right. That's, second, I got a second That's it. That's all I got. That's all you got. Yeah. Wow. I was too busy watching you and learning so, about uh, glass. So what do, what do you guys want to chat about? What do you want to talk about? Ask me anything. AMA. It doesn't mean I'll answer anything. She says you can ask me anything. Debbie says, can I buy the Jim Shores? Debbie, if you subscribe to us on Whatnot, same title, Picker Road, at Picker Road, we're going to have them on Monday? Or, sure. Yep. 
Let's run them on Monday. Absolutely. And also, for everyone who just subscribed on our YouTube channel, wait Thank until you. you see what we do on Sunday. Sunday's Sunday. going to be Something a we've crazy never exciting done. episode. Oh, you did it? We, we did, did it. it. I'm not gonna, I know what it is. She we knows what it is. Never, we told her. I haven't seen it either. We did it but, this morning. Oh, fun. Yep. Something I really haven't done before. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never done it before. Oh, thank you. Kathleen says you guys are all amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Kathleen. And I should just say, also, we got these. Oh, yes. But these will be oh, decorations yeah, yeah. for the Picaro Boutique. Them. All the, uh, Oh, what are they called? The sugar skull cats. So Susanna's saying she never got to use her $15 whatnot credit when she subscribes through you, Danny. I think if she contacts them now, they'll still honor it. Yeah, right? and you made a purchase and it didn't get applied. Just reach out to uh, support at whatnot.com. Although there might be a form now you have to fill out and let them know. Look, I never got my $15 of credit. I subscribed through the niche lady. And I'm gonna I'm getting ready to do whatnot and me we're kind of we're having our ups and downs uh because if they didn't credit it to you that means i get a little little uh commission for everybody that signs up under my link but if they didn't give it to you they didn't give it to me either so we're in this together i'm gonna battle to make sure you get yours uh so that's kind of a it's kind of a problem with whatnot right now all right, so the questions are, first of all, Debbie Hamilton says she's never been on Whatnot. I highly recommend it. It's so much fun. I, I buy and sell on there, too. It's so much fun. It's easy, yeah. sh easy schmeasy. It's a great interaction, too. It's so yeah. nice to just hang out with people on there. All right, so Irish Girl is asking, how do Noah and Rachel like their new rooms? Oh, they love it. Yeah, they love it. So what we did for Noah, so Noah runs a lot of computer equipment, as you know, and his room gets hotter than any other room in the house. Now, when he was over in the casita, no big deal. He has his own AC. He could make it as cool in there as he wanted to. Now that he's in the general household, uh, the thermostat is in my bedroom, which means to make it cold enough in his bedroom, I'd have to make my bedroom like 50 to 20 degrees colder. So what we ended up doing is putting in a window AC in his room. So little window, air conditioner, little uh, uh, unconventional, it's in his bathroom window, but it works. So his room gets to be as cool as he wants to make it. And the rest of the house stays at a nice temperature for me and the birds. All right, looking at the next question here. I'm just going in order here. Are you going garage sailing tomorrow? I don't know. It's supposed to be 110 I'm, degrees. I'm really, really, really trying to get my house done. I am working very, very hard. And everything put away and stay on top of editing ahead on video and, and all of that. So I probably will not tomorrow. Uh, Danny, this is from Barb Russell. Did you ever find the clothes that the movers packed? Yes. All yes. of my clothes are in the closet. Now I just got to get them all put away. The sad thing is I had gone through and I had sorted through all my clothes, donate, keep. Actually, it was supposed to be estate sale, keep. And none of the clothing stuff got put in the estate sale. So everything kind of got jumbled back in my closet. So I have to go back through everything and, and sort and get rid of things again. But, but yes, they're all in one spot. I've just got to go through. Um, Sandra asks, how do I get past my shyness and do a whatnot sale? Well, Sandra don't have to put your face on camera if you don't want to you can do it totally behind the camera so it's just getting your voice out there and the best thing to do i just switched oh there we go we're back oh we lost camera for a second we're switching wi-fi networks as we oh, drive that one is um, okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, I'm trying to read for questions. And I'll let you guys know, I, I'm going to go live a Sunday evening. I will have a special guest on Sunday. Ooh. We will be talking about mental health and reselling. Nice. Yes. Debbie Hamilton asks, how are your fish doing after the move? It's so hard to move uh, saltwater oh, fish. Yeah, good. Everybody, all the tanks. 
we're going through a little bit, but this might be boring if you don't if you don't have the saltwater aquarium to know. But for those those who do, will understand. There's a there's a, a phase in saltwater aquarium cycling called the ugly phase. And so what happened when we moved the tanks? You go through like a mini cycle again, and in that mini cycle, uh, we're going back through the ugly the ugly phase in the reef tank, which is kind of a bummer, but it's, it's starting to subside now. We're getting back on top of it. And the one big tank is staying empty uh, because what ended up, we found out what we had in there was something called velvet. It was not, it, it was velvet. And therefore we have to keep the tank empty of fish for, I'm gonna be on the safe side. I'm probably gonna go the full 90 days and just be done with it. Some say you can go 60 to 70 days. Others say 90 days. I'm going 90 days. I still got all my little invertebrates, starfish. We just added these new little black velvet nudibranchs in there that are like, they'll be over on the critter, the niche lady critter cam, which I will get rocking and rolling on again. But they are, they're like a black with a neon blue stripe and they're like the most gorgeous thing. They're a little snail, uh, but they're fantastic. Did Chadwick come home yet? Not yet. We got to finish Chadwick's pen. Uh, I've got the landscaper coming tomorrow. What we have to do is uh, we have to bury the doghouse in so that it's insulated and uh, just kind of get it ready. So Chadwick will be here before brumation time though, so that Chadwick can settle in oh just camellia says you guys are all so wonderful i feel like i'm talking to family and i really enjoy going with you on all your shopping trips thank you well thank uh, you for coming with us thank you so much we enjoy bringing you along uh i'm trying to see i'm looking what was the material of the last necklace you bought that you used the black light on amber amber and I learned that from, from Dawn of Hudson Vintage. Because I always, I always picked up amber thinking, oh, this feels like plastic. Because it's lightweight. It's not a stone. It's a sap, isn't it? Yeah, it's a sap, exactly. So it is lightweight and it glows under black light. That was the other clue, yeah. So Anne asks, are you all going out for dinner tonight? Now, we would normally say yes, but this is the one side of reselling that you don't usually get to see. We have got a lot of shipping to do from our cat sale. So <laughs> we're going to probably do, done. we're going to do some shipping tonight <laughs> instead right. of going out for a big and, dinner. And I got to get all this stuff on Shopify, like I promised you guys. So that is, so let me just explain when I say Shopify. So that is where the niche lady shop is located. That is a, a Shopify shop. And the reason I chose that is because it also integrates with list perfectly. So I can literally have those items for sale on eBay, on Poshmark, on all the other places list perfectly. We'll put it out to at some point. I'm not doing that yet, but that that's why I chose this venue. And the software at the store also integrates with, with Shopify so that I can have those items up on my stage for sale as well, so. Lori asks, who's Chadwick? Chadwick is the newest tortoise that is coming to our family. So Chadwick actually belongs to the lady that comes and does my house cleaning. And they just bought a house and it doesn't have a backyard. So she feels really, really bad that her tortoise doesn't have a proper backyard and she wants it to come live with us. Any other questions? I am watching. Ask me anything. Susan Susan says there are 950 people watching, but only 442 oh. thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button, folks, if you had a good time today. Yeah, and if you're looking, we are in the, what would we call this? Kind of the central, central to east side of Vegas. We're kind of cruising up uh, uh, McLeod, which was Pecos McLeod. We're taking the scenic route. I love this. I, I love this area for picking uh, for garage sailing oh, yeah. and estate sailing because this is where like all the old showgirls live. This is live. Old Vegas. Yeah, yeah. This, so this is where they first started. And there's some like mid-century construction out here still. So this is where they settled 
uh, when Vegas was new because it was it was rural. Mm-hmm. This is when you were away from the, the hubbub of the Strip. Well, this has become, as you can see, pretty pretty populated now, and it's no longer rural. Star Lacey asks, have you done any tutorials yet about how to do Shopify? I have not because I'm still learning it myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it is definitely kind of a learning curve, and um, I've got help with that. But... Uh, Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching for questions. Watching for questions. AMA time. Ask me anything. And Susan Suzanne says, "Oh, there's there's something." Suzanne says, "I tried to buy on Shopify." but couldn't get uh, the registration going right. So send send Danny an email, oh, and we'll get that figured out. You shouldn't, there shouldn't be any registration, because you can even check out as a guest. So hmm. I'm not sure what you experienced. You should literally just be able to click on an item, put it in your cart, fill out your information, and boom. Linda says she's been recovering from knee surgery, and she really oh. enjoys watching these videos during her recovery. Oh, that's great. Uh, Tanya hope, asks, hope do you- you're healing quickly. Do you only accept PayPal? No. Oh, heavens no. It, it, I mean, that's the cool thing with, with you. Um, Shopify Pay, I think, takes just about everything. Like, And PayPal is an option, but it's not the only option. So lots of payment option, options. The sun, the sun is bright. Woo. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm reading. I don't know if you following the lady in the store who was helping us collect all the items. She was following behind very closely, listening very Aww. closely because she was getting a world class lesson from Aww. Tom Glass. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I heard her keep saying that, how, how smart you are with Glass. I just, you know, I just love Glass so much. The same thing with that, that kind of that croc kitchen, you know, planter pot that I got, or mixing bowl, that's what it was. The same thing with glass. Glass has such a history. And I started out learning about early American press glass. That was my first passion. Because this was glass that was developed for the middle class who couldn't afford to get the very expensive imported European glass, but they wanted nice things in their house too. So they would, so the manufacturers here in America started making this pressed glass and then they would make it in these patterns and they'd make it of course the whole you know like the the subscription services we have now where oh oh, we made this piece and this piece and this piece and you must have every one in the collection and so they made it in numerous setting pieces but people use this as their everyday dishes those dishes tell such a story and you know back in the late 1800s early 1900s things were thought of much differently than they are now. Things were, you know, sometimes you you gave a week's pay to get that special thing that you wanted. So you took really good care of it. It wasn't as wasteful as we are now, where we're kind of like, oh, it's made of plastic and just throw it away. Um, it It was very much a, this is a forever hand it down type of thing. So to me, that glass just, it just speaks. And then as I started learning about more and more types of glass and the value that they had, that's when that's when I got into the Blue Opalescent. Blue Opalescent is a pressed glass and it's made in many of the same patterns as some of the pattern glass, as some of the carnival glass. Uh, so then I started learning about all the different makers and the history and, and, and the whole time period of glass. You know, it was like the early 1900s. And then you've got Fenton in there. Um, people don't even realize how old Fenton goes back. I mean, they are early 1900s. And so uh, glass just, I was absorbed with learning about glass. In fact, I will show you as soon as I get my bookshelves all set up, how many glass books I have. In fact, I just referred to one the other night for some crackle glass pieces. Couldn't find it on a Google search, couldn't do Google image. I pulled out my book, boop, found it, verified it was pilgrim glass. And so I love researching it. I, you know, that's kind of my go be profitable and make it fun. 
like to me, researching is just as fun as finding it. And so it's, it's why I like specialized in it and learned more about it because also the people pricing things in the back of a thrift store generally don't know a piece of Lalique from a piece of pressed glass. So you are liable to find some amazing, amazing pieces of glass at a thrift store. Grammy K. Hi, Grammy K. Hi, Grammy K. Asks, how, what is Rachel doing about school? Uh, we're still, we're, we're kind of going through our different options, right? See, that's the thing with homeschooling. There's no rush. There's no, oh, you have to start on a certain date or you have to be at a certain point. Uh, the whole premise behind homeschooling is you go at the child's pace. You, you fine tune it to the child's learning and how they learn. So we're definitely taking time to go through all the choices that we have and gathering the information. So we make sure we get the right school this time that she can finish out high school in. Anne asks, do you think carnival glass is making a comeback? I think people really like carnival glass. Yes. Um, there's different qualities of carnival glass. So there is the true early carnival glass, you know, Benton was one of the first carnival glass makers. And so those older pieces, I think will always have the value, but I think people now just like the, you know, the shiny iridescent glass that is called carnival glass. Indiana makes a version of that. I call it more kind of like an oil slick carnival glass. Um, but I think people in general are really liking colored glass. Do you remember in Virginia City? You yeah. showed them the two levels of carnival glass. Yeah, oh, at that's that right. One store. That's right. They go back and look at that. Yeah. Linda Glover says, I have a few Fenton glass cats. Have you ever seen any of those? I have. Are they ones sitting up and then they paint them with like little flowers on them? Wait for the lag, watching yeah. for the response. I think they also make a, a laying down sleeping version, but I, the one I'm thinking of, you know, is the sitting up cat with the long tail. Waiting for the response. We have one of the good stuff. One of our vendors has one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fenton also makes beautiful uranium glass. Yeah, you would know. You would know. <laughs> Anything I know about uranium glass came from guess who? <laughs> Linda says yes. Oh, yep. And uh, Fenton also makes the custard glass that glows. Custard That's what Gary just found. Glass. Yeah. He found the bird. Yeah. Or the Burmese. So the Burmese is the custard glass with the pink trim on it. That glows too. Yeah. They had some beautiful pieces in the store, but it was priced very high. Yeah, they know what they have. They you, have. you definitely have to look a little harder at an antique store or an antique mall for the treasures. But, I mean, we've, we've got three boxes of stuff, so <laughs> they're there. Watching for questions, watching for questions. We are close to the strip right now. In fact, if you pan over here, uh, this is the convention center. And that's oh, the... ASD is just finished up. That's probably a lot of the traffic over this way mm. too. And that's the Sahara right there. Yep. And then right behind Danny, you can see the stratosphere up there. Yep. So we are close to the strip. Oh yeah, we've got, we got a sunroof. McDonald's? There's the Stratus here. Show them this oh, the McDonald's. Oh, the 50s McDonald's. That has the 50s, yeah. There's a Cadillac inside that McDonald's. We used to we used to eat there uh, when we would come here, when I would go visit Star Trek The Experience at the Las Vegas Hilton right next door. Noah's calling. Oh. You're live. Hi. Hi. What do you mean? We are heading home now. Oh, my God. We are, start cooking. We're in the car driving and streaming. There's a lot of traffic, though. We're moving slowly. Yeah. Probably plan on like a 7 o'clock. <laughs> I think we all know who you are, Gwenya. Yeah. Okay. Love ya. Oh, Grammy Kate, okay. you absolutely have to visit Vegas. Bye. Oh, definitely come out here, Grammy K. Anymore. Let us Bye. know when you're here, Grammy Kate. Oh, Kay. for sure. Uh, Irish Girl asks, how, how long have you lived in Vegas? Ooh, I think I'm on my 14th year. 13, 13 or 14 years. Hmm. I've lost count. I'm trying to think how old Noah was when we came here. I think Noah was, I think Noah was six. Richard asks, how is the pop, Papasan chair looking on your patio? Oh, so... 
my handyman was there today. I, I haven't sat in it since he put it together. So I'm going to get to try it out tonight for the first time. But I love it. Oh, and Circus Circus is over here. There's Circus Circus, the new resorts world. Is that big tower over there that you can see? It's where Katy Perry just wrapped up her big residency. She did for, all, for what, two and a half years, I think. See the main Las Vegas strip there. Well, we're coming up on three hours. Does anybody have any last minute questions? Last minute. Thank you for the mild questions. <laughs> I never know what's gonna get thrown at me. Did you ever live in San Diego? I did not. I've never lived in San Diego. I grew up in Orange County, California, spent most of my life uh, up in the La Habra Whittier area. We did a little jaunt down in Santa Ana and Garbage Grove. It's Garden Grove, that's what we call it. And then from there as an adult, I found out that uh, in Norco, California, you can have horses in your backyard. That was a game changer for me. So we moved out to Norco and stayed out in the Riverside County area until I left and moved to Arizona. And then uh, Arizona is where Noah and Rachel were born. And then uh, moved up to Reno for a year, hated it, and came to Vegas. And the rest is history. Here I am. Question is, is Noah excited about F1? Oh, yeah. He's got a big race Sunday. Sunday is his, uh, his big go-kart in-person race. Nice. So he is right now looking really good on their scoreboard, and he's happy about that. Grammy K says, are you excited to be scorpion free? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> yes, I mean, walking across my floor barefoot, not having to like go with a light and like, oh, yeah. It's, I think it's safe to say it makes all of us happier. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic for sure. The question was, did I have a good convention? I had a fantastic convention. Oh, the Star Wars. A, oh! I start to, I do that every time. <laughs> Gasp! Star Trek! Star Trek! <laughs> I love Star Wars too. I love I love all science fiction. No, I, I had a great convention. William Shatner was on point as usual. He's 92 years old and he acts like he's in his 50s. But did he talk? He to talks you like personally? this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> No, no, I had a great moment where I got to chat with him and Paul Wesley, who's the nice. young actor who's playing Kirk pre before Star Trek. Um, there's the new series that's set like 10 years before the Shatner series, and he's playing the younger version of him. Nice. Got to spend a lot of time with our good friend Doug Jones, who was in the Academy Award winning film Shape of Water. Wow. And just, you know, it's it's great for to have them all here in Vegas because they're so that's like, cool. they're that so is, free I, I when they're here. I think you'll agree that one of the great things about living in Vegas all the conventions come here. Yes. Like you don't really have to travel a whole lot. There's a there's a convention for everything oh, here. So right much. Here and yeah. I love it because all my friends who I see around the world come, to come Vegas. here yes. and I get to spend a week with them. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, can it. you film your rock and crystal collection once it's unpacked? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yep. You betcha. I'm going to do once I'm completely unpacked. I mean, it's a process. The thing is if I just had like two solid days to do nothing but unpacking, I'd probably be done. The problem is I have to fit it in here, fit it in here, and uh, it hasn't been going very fast. Oh, Nancy Hines yeah. says hi from Virginia City. Oh, hello. We had um, such a great time up there. Yeah, we did. I can't wait Virginia to go back Virginia City is great. But yeah, unpacking is a slow process when you only have like an hour a day to work on it. So. Susan, are you in Ticonderoga, New York? I was up there. I went up there for the William Shatner event last November. Ticonderoga. Do they make pencils there? It's That's the Ticonderoga. And, claim to and, fame, the and, pencil. And their new claim to fame is that there is an exact replica of the Star Trek set up there, oh. built by a former Elvis impersonator. Oh. Coolest story ever. All right. Okay, we are one minute from three hours. All right, I, you guys. I so appreciate you hanging out with me. And pick a road Thank on you our guys. little shopping adventure. And uh, this is kind of the Friday thing. Uh, when we go to the swap meet, we start a little later because it's so hot and they don't open till four. Uh, but when we do the the antique mall, 
we'll definitely do it earlier in the day like this. And that way, you know, people can come at different times and be able to be part of it. And uh, so with that, let's sign off. Let's say go be profitable and make, make it, it fun. fun. <laughs> See you on the next one.